you mocking my promotion, Capio? Welcome everybody to the South Park Phone Destroyer weekly update for, oh I didn't change the number, for week 3.2, year 3, week 2, appreciate you guys, can you call, can you time out Capium, actually I don't know what happens if you time out Capium, does the world explode or something, I don't know, <laughs> funding line is massive, funding line? What's that? What are you talking about? Anyway, welcome in everybody. Pegs, Cloud Chucker, good to see ya. Capium. Autocorrect to cuss words isn't set up yet. Oh, funding line is. Oh, I. I, I. <laughs> but welcome in. Actually, I gotta change. I gotta change my camera up a bit here. Seems a bit. I kinda wanna. I wanna show off the. Rick and Morty wall a bit more, you know what I'm saying? Alright, that's a bit better. Appreciate you guys. Reaper, Cloud Chucker, Pegs, Capium, Tattooed, Meow Bark. Welcome in. Everybody else who's jumping in as well, appreciate you guys. Jimmy James is here. Welcome. Show off the fade. It's not a fade, really. The light really shows the. She does a good job making it blend. I'm, I'm always impressed with her. Who got nerfed and who got buffed? Well, I am excited to talk about that. There's some cool ones. Um, but no, yeah, I got an unexpected haircut today. I had one scheduled for the 21st. And I was just actually thinking today in the shower when I was shampooing, I was just like, man, two more weeks, two and a half more weeks before I can get a haircut kind of kind of sucked but luckily she called me she's like hey I have a no-show and it must have been like an hour long thing or something like that because a guy's haircut takes about half hour tops right and so not accidental like did I say accidental I didn't mean accident. I meant like impromptu or like um, you know out of nowhere uh, and so yeah she got me so it must have been an hour not long appointment and the person didn't show up for the first half hour. And so she called me and she's like, hey, do you want to pop in? Um, and I was like, yeah, I can jump out. So, I, and I wasn't, I didn't have a meeting for another hour. So I jumped out, jumped out of work. And there's like a fuzzy in my hair. I was laying on, I don't know how I feel about my hair right now. She spiked it up for me. I don't really do that much, but honestly, when I, I just get out of the shower and I go like that and it spikes up because I have massive calyx right there and right there my widow's peak is strong anyway let's check out last week so the first thing oh no that's for oh actually this is this is bradley's stats we'll look at that later i just wanted to stretch it out real quick so this was our bracket uh pretty close bracket between free to play whales and mercenaries good to see mercenaries doing pretty well chef's elite chef's elite Below them, that's not the one that's in third place. But third place, not only by like 100 points, not bad. Um, and then Fish Dicks coming in with a pretty nice score as well. I don't know who fifth was. Pretty good bracket. But if you really look at the overall scores, Illuminati had a good week this week. I think 113.8 is one loss. I've seen 113.8 quite a bit. So I think 113.8 is one loss. Um, dire Tide of 113, 3 4 right behind him. French Family being the next one. Free to play whales. We had one guy get an 84 with two different disconnects. Real unfortunate. And we, I think we had three disconnects this week, so that kind of butchered our um, butchered our score. But I think we had three losses, so we might have still come in below Dire Tide. It might have been close. We would have been right above him or right below him. But Nambla showing up in the four spot. Nice. Uh, mercenaries right below them. They were in free to play bracket and almost almost one so good job there and then and anonymous it Italia 
throwing up a nice average with their 30 members, which is, I mean, that's good. Like, I, that's actually kind of impressive because that's 30 people's worth of caps too, right? Um, so I was actually, you'll see in the games from this week, I was actually really impressed by what I could do with some low-level goth kids um, on Moody. So a lot of people didn't do well with the deck, but I can understand why. But I think if you, if you played it well, it was pretty interesting. Candyman, welcome in. <laughs> Fmeister, welcome in as well. Joey, welcome back. 150 buckets to all. All right, so let's jump into the games for this week. We're gonna start with the adventure lock. Oh, all right. Otis to the J from actually playing. That's funny, that's like a active only kind of team name. It's funny because there's teams like that in every game. They're not related, I don't think. It's just actives only is a, is a very common. Actives only. Actives only. All right. Uh, Otis to J. Okay, so he starts with the goth kids. Now I'm thinking, Sham Shield, thanks for the follow. I'm thinking Henrietta's coming out. And, you know, might actually get a little bit of a, might actually have a little bit of a problem here. Um, but Ferkel comes in and does good work on the backside. Not bad. Ferkel doing some good work. Angel, actually a pretty damn good card, even at the base level. Nice, nice. Get it, get it, get it. Boom. Boom. Now, Midberry Crunch actually can't use his ability. And the robot killed... I was hoping that maybe the ability would still like splash and hit the robot, but we got a swashbuckler. I actually don't know if the if the robot gets pulled or not. If I thought the robot got pulled, I would have played swashbuckler behind new kid, but I wasn't sure if the robot was immune. I wasn't sure. So I played her in front. Would've been better to be behind new kid. Swashbuckler behind new kid on defense is pretty good. So we're gonna play our man bear pig here. It's kind of the counter. We don't want his, we had to play it. It's not, it wasn't the better play to play it that far away, but we really needed, um, oh, that's not the south park. Why did that always happen? I'll have to figure out a way to fix that. Um, <clears throat> I actually need to do, a different over like a different overlay completely I want to set something up completely different but that'll take that's still gonna take some time Ferkel doing some work though that level 5 Ferkel was actually incredibly impressive <laughs> let's get the heal I'm actually more worried about killing the mintberry crunch so once we kill the mintberry crunch then we can heal we're gonna see if we can't heal some heal some rats but no I mean, 192 at base level is pretty, still pretty good. So the angel pick is definitely the right pick on Adventure Lock for sure. So we jib man. This reminds me of my first time I mashed potatoes. I don't know what that means, but it's so good to see you, man. Where have you been? Why have you forsaken me? Lead with the angel. I don't give a fuck. Let's go base level versus level three epics. Let's go. Mint berry crunch, mint berry crunch, bottom left corner, boost the angel. Oh, god damn it. If I make the decision twice, you know it's the right play. Elite mom, welcome back. <clears throat> hey, elite mom. How are you? How's the elite momming going? Getting, look at this, level two. The little guy trying to get worked on. Oh, those guys will avoid. Oh man, this guy's got actually a pretty good setup. Why didn't he use it? Yeah, he should have used it immediately. But we're doing great damage with that level one mintberry crunch and that level five that, that level five mintberry crunch is just gonna fuck shit up regen to save those two protect everybody Nice I already used like the one spell I could have used Mintberry crunch is murder <laughs> Look at him supported with all these base level cards. <laughs> Actually, Pete might be level three, I can't remember. No, I don't think Pete's level three. No, he was level two. 
Feel the Minberry Crunch. Uh, oh no, yeah, it, it targeted all the rats. I didn't know it targeted somebody if they were full health. That's news to me. That is news to me. That guy was not happy with me. <laughs> that guy thought I should not have been in, in silver. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <clears throat> I'm constantly impressed with how good a dex. I mean, honestly, I would have felt really confident with that deck in, in gold, honestly. Some of the some of the shenanigans I pulled off with the base level cards wouldn't work the same. Like, maybe playing Midberry Crunch at all would be a mistake, but... This guy does have the Henrietta out. We're gonna swashbuckle, interesting play. The Furkel goes down swinging. What are we gonna do here? The Henrietta just dies so fast to that level five swashbuckler, I didn't have to do anything. Now the Furkel does get a little bit of extra damage on, I really think Shaman should debuff the enemy as well as, as buff allies. Wow, the, the base level regen. Regen is also always a choice for the adventure lock accounts. You missed the update? No, we're doing the update right now, Dumbo. What are you talking about? Here we go. Oh, let's go. Nice counter push here. Get that Angel Wendy. <laughs> then you play Wendy. You gotta play Wendy. Uh, we're just gonna play the Pete. Then we're gonna Furkle. We're gonna Furkle boost on the Pete. Casey, how you doing, man? Oh, kill him. Nice, he didn't. Look at this Furkle surviving all this damage. Look at this Furkle. Look at this Furkle. Oh my lord. Furkle cannot be stopped. Oh, that's hilarious. That's why I played Pete on the top side. That was great. That was great. All right, next one. I'm trying to think, I think Moody had the best game, so we'll watch Moody's games last. Definitely not Glanzer, Frozenito. Fro Frozonito. Got a goth kid. Um, probably should have led with drone, but only level four, so it's not quite as scary. But this is a good lead for me. That kind of plays into me, so I can just sit here and get all my energy back and not have to worry about him really gaining any ground. And actually, the longer I can sit here and not play anything, the worse off he is because his coop just becomes more worthless and more worthless. So now drone is a really good man bear pig counter. So this was the right play here. Um, sizzle on him, yeah. I mean, I, I, I now you'll see, notice the the proper placement of this sizzle here on the bottom left side of the man bear pig. Um, we'll go back a bit. So I made sure that I hit him with the corner of my my cone still but made sure that I wasn't in front of him so you see where his AOE was there. Now he'll walk a little bit in front, I'll stun him, and now Sizzler won't get hit by the AOE, so Sizzler will be able to just sit there getting stacked, and Man Bear Pig won't hit the Sizzler. Well, he hit him with that time, but he didn't hit him on that first one. Now the regen is always good when you have Sizzler out there. Just keep the Sizzler alive. There's no removal for him, there's no Inuit, there's no threat, so as long as he gets to seven stacks, he's just gonna, he's gonna take all three of the bars like even level three there's no way there's honestly no way to stop him at this point <laughs> especially if i have some support if angel wendy gets a heal on him oh don't even need it yeah it's just night it's just nightmare fuel man that guy's gonna regret playing when he played <laughs> mr steal your girl casey how you doing though f meister how's your team wars joey how you doing do you still play south park joey or are you just chilling all right, we have this bitch. Shaman, shaman. Do you guys say shaman or shaman? Give me in chat. Give me, say, say I, say, I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna figure out how. <laughs> if you say shaman, type in chat right now. Shaman. I think this guy just gave up when he saw my rank. This guy gave up. Do you recognize me? Am I a stranger to you? Am I a stranger? No. Shaman, 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 shaman. Is it, sh is it shaman or shaman? Shaman or shaman? Shaman, shaman, shaman. 
See, it's the same way to say it, but it's just the, it's about what syllable you inflect. More worried about Mr. Steel, your squirrel. Shimin, he stole yours too. I love squirrels. I love them. All right, another Grand Wizard Cartman lead here. Hit, see, him playing the drone probably was a better play. Unless he plays it in a way where my fireball... My fireball becomes value city, which is very easy. People don't really expect the fireball. I don't know why. Like, they know it's an option. Expect it. No, this is pretty good play, though. We're just going to use that just to keep... Keep shit separated a little bit. Macon, what's up, bud? All right, we have our... There we go, good heals here. We get our Captain Diabetes doubled up, good shit. And Youth Pastor's on the top side that whole time working shit out. Now we got the regen on our whole group with Youth Pastor surviving the Shaman up there. We got Diabetes again. Now he's getting healed using that. I don't know, there's no real use for that, but I actually use it in a couple games to to stop the Grand Wizard Cartman heal and tech that a bit. It was pretty fun. But that was a great push there. We're just gonna fireball that bitch. Fuck your defense. Not really worried about anything. Oh! Uh. Not really sure why that happened. The Grand Wizard Cartman survives with the regen. Shaman. 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 Shaman? Shaman? Shaman. You mean shaman, right? Shaman. Yeah, I think shaman is how you say it. Alright, now we get some uh, definitely not pegs beatdowns. Still repping pegs beating down noobs. Ratty Kel. But we do have a surprise. We do have a 9k matchup on this account, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Greatest fucking fireball of all time. Greatest fucking fireball of all time, guys. Oh my lord, I just cannot believe it. I am flabbergasted. This guy has just unlocked the next level. I just cannot believe what this motherfucker just pulled off. I mean, what the hell? That was ingenious. Who, who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? That's pathetic, man. I mean, 7,500 is still... A pretty decent rank dude that's a legendary player and it just blows my mind because I bet you his the I bet you the the stuff that he plays on ladder that gets him to 7500 is not none of this shit so the guy just doesn't know how to play other cards the goal just fireball this Omaha shifty medicinal KFC rank 9,178. Holy shit. He's two rank above me. I gotta fight for my rank, Bubby. I gotta fight for my rank. We're leading with the Grand Wizard Cartman. What's he gonna play, Bubba? Are you watching? What's he gonna play? Are you watching the little guys on the screen? You can see him, right, Bubba? Grand Wizard Cartman slow playing it. He played his Angel. And he's got a level two critter. So that's a card that you're not supposed to play, buddy. It's called a dead card. You're not supposed to play that. So we're using this. He's got the rats out. That's fine. We should be able to just blow him up eventually. Boom. And that's a good value with that. Should have. Oh, you know, I wish you could. I wish you could. Uh, like fireball a trap and it would kill the trap kind of thing. I think that would be kind of neat. I don't know what this guy this and this guy's 9,000 what what and he thought that coop play was a good idea like like what I dismantled this guy it was it was it was a it was a joke it it wasn't even funny and now and then we pushed him back and it's just like See, I teched that, so I didn't get stunned as long. That's pretty fun. But like, how, how? I don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, you want me to be stunned? Nope. Dude, that was beautiful. God, we gotta roll that back. We gotta roll that back. That was beautiful. That is why Shaman Token is a good choice when Grand Wizard and Sizzler are out there, because that stun 
where maybe he could have stopped the Grand Wizard is actually no stun at all. Well done, Shaman Token. Shaman. Shamama Mama Ding Dong. Nothing better than level 3 legs, 4 epics, 5 rares. Dude, yeah, 8k, I bet you could get it right now. With how inflated ELO is right now, dude, for sure. For sure. Alright, lead with the Diabetes Boy is pretty good one. Against the Cox, actually not bad. Woodland Critters would be an interesting choice here, but he kind of forced, not forced me, but like, it's it's an easy choice to, to then play my drone over his drone. That's just an easy fireball target. That's gonna, that's like 8 value for 5, so... <laughs> Now we're just gonna pretty much roll through here. Cloud Chucker, nice. What was dinner? You missed some pretty fun games on the Adventure Lock account, but otherwise, uh, I just bodied a 9,000 ranked guy that was just like the worst player I've ever seen. And with terrible levels too. So I don't know if his team sucks balls and he's just like one of those guys who like, he's got a really good account and he wants to be the best guy on a shitty team just so like he, he feels like he matters, like Vegeta. But, yeah, I don't know, man. It blew my, like, he had terrible level cards. And I can't imagine his team wouldn't have been able to get that amount of level. I think we should, I think you should regen the angel. Yeah, I think you should too. Boom. Got him. I got him. Go, go, go. Are we sizzling? No. Done him. Boom, 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 boom. Heal him. Heal him. Oh, stun him. Yes, get him. Oh, I tried to I tried to stop the stun. What what if Shaman, if you used it, there was like a one or two second period where after you use his ability, like the purify ability, he's also like immune like everybody's also immune to ability so like if you knew it was coming you could preemptively play it and be protected for x amount of time or something like that all right we got flustered cuck versus an active banger so this deck is a blasty blast so we're gonna we're gonna really shout cast these ones we do have a level three grand wizard so that it helps us out leading with the strong grand wizard cartman level three play not bad, but we still are in gold. We never know what we're gonna run into. But the level three Cox, not very scary. We do have the Henrietta in hand, so the Goth Kids might be a nice play here. We did pick all of them on Namblos. We'll see how it goes paired with that Chicken Coop, maybe. We'll see, the Chicken Coop is level four. Might play the Coop on the bottom side. Very distracting. Might actually push into the Wendy then. Now Henrietta, this was my dream push that I was thinking of. Henrietta with the Grand Wizard Cartman. With the Michael about to die from that level 3 cock. Clearing the way. Separating a little bit here. Boom, well done. Now we're going to get the Pete out for that extra heal. Oh, the freeze there, but the knockback actually helped me out. No, but the Henrietta getting murdered real, real fast. But the sizzle getting killed pretty quickly can the grand wizard cartman stun him before he dies no henrietta does get killed but my push is still working out michael a fairly strong card even at level three swashbuckler pulling everybody in the grand wizard cartman not able to do anything the cocks that are almost dead not able to be stopped the wasted fireball the heal now once michael gets onto the new kid that heal becomes even greater oh my god the plus 20 more heal there's another bar. Will Swashbuckler survive? Who survives? Nobody else. So everybody survives. Pete survives. Can he start healing off the diabetes boy? He does. He'll get to full health. And the Swashbuckler gets there and gets the new kid bar. Swashbuckler and the low level goth kids taking out. A gold level player. Let's go. Now we got Jester. 7794. This one is gonna be tight let's see if moody can pull it off we're gonna lead with the cox we don't really have another play we don't want a chance playing henrietta when we don't know if we have the goth cards or not irish what's up buddy you just missed a great fucking game man make sure you check the replay on youtube tomorrow make sure you watch the whole thing it's good for my watch time appreciate you all right so midbury crunch in the corner fantastic play not much they can do about it fireball here would be pretty good yes and we get the 
Oh my god, just everything there. If he if now if you're not paying attention and you don't notice the fireball, you would think, oh my god, that mintberry crunch just murdered me! Because it looks like it all hits at the same time and it was just the mintberry crunch. He's like, oh that that's not level one, this is horse shit. <laughs> now a regen there would actually have been a really good play because all of those cocks would have survived all the other cocks. Um but the Chomper would have stopped the Astro, so it would have ended up probably working out in his favor. Um, so just slow playing it here was good. Mintberry Crunch actually stays out of New Kid range here, which is pretty great. But the Wendy killing the Mintberry Crunch, which is a well-played setup on his part. Now we do have the Henrietta ready to play for the Michael when the Michael dies, which is going to die very soon. We don't have the Pete in our hand yet. We're gonna put the rats out, then we get the Furkle out. Nicely done, nicely done. A little bit of heal there, that was pretty good on his part. We don't have the Pete to heal us quite yet, but he heals an almost, like a worthless group here. We get the Pete out almost just in time. Oh no, but the Furkle, gonna be hard to kill. No, the Furkle gonna go down, but everybody comes in plus 20. Henrietta, that's the second one. The heal on nobody. Angel not doing anything. Furkle taking the hits again. Furkel coming out, Pete on the top side with 40 plus, Michael with 40 as well, good heals, the Sizzler not doing enough, oh and Henrietta survives, if somebody else dies, she'll come back one more time, no, the Astro, does, or not the Astro, the Ova Pete getting one little extra hit there, getting his health back, put the Swashbuckler out and save him, I didn't even think to do that, but I don't think, I don't think he gets, I don't think the drone gets pulled, Shadow Tash, welcome back. Warped, what's up, buddy? Moody catching breaks. Yeah, Moody, Moody Moody played hella some hella good games with some low ass level cards in gold this week, man. I'm very impressed with this motherfucker. Now we swashbuckle. Swashbuckle! No, we played the rats just to kind of force him to use his ability right away. Actually, he didn't even have to. Everybody kind of played perfectly there, but we only have 25 seconds to to defend. Not too hard, not too hard. We'll just do this. This should be fine. And the swashbuckler behind New Kid will solidify our protection here. Wait. Oh, all those cocks still getting boosted. But everybody's going around the Michael instead of attacking him. Now the fireball comes out. Doesn't hit the mintberry crunch. Not enough. Not quick enough. Booty catching a win. And now we got La Resistance. 53-34, Moody, in this case, caught a break. 53-34 matchup, not bad, not bad at all. But sometimes these are the scariest ones, because sometimes these motherfuckers know how to play. Already, he's equally leveled to me. <clears throat> level 3 Grand Wizard, level 6, everything's equal level so far. Level 4 Cox. Now, we got this guy coming out, boom, nice hit. You see how we use that? Oh, that was well played, in my opinion. All right, now we're gonna try to prevent the cocks or for the rats from getting much damage. Now Pete took some damage, but he's gonna heal up. Oh no! But those cocks really, or those those rats really ate up my cocks. <clears throat> now we got Furkle dead here. We got to do the rat swarm around the Grand Wizard. It's our only chance to kill him. Even if he's gonna use his ability to kill him, well, he could have used that a little bit early, but we had to get him to use it. And now Pete actually surviving. Look at this Pete surviving. All of the new kid hits there. Oh no, die into the level four. Now that one, we gotta keep our Midbury Crunch alive here. Level three Midbury Crunch. Oh man, this is tough here. This guy had us far leveled, but this is a pretty good push up the top side. Now the Furkel coming to get, oh, this is gonna be interesting. The extra boost in the damage. Oh, now everybody's dead on the top side though. What are we gonna do? Can we kill the Astro? Yes, the Astro dies, knocked him right into range. Everybody working together here. Can the Astro get one hit on the new kid? No, no, Astro needs help. Moody struggle busting over here. Is Moody gonna lose to somebody ranked 5K? This is horse shit, bubby. This is horse shit. All right, now the offensive as fuck coop play when he misplays the shit out of, look, he misplayed the shit out of that Pete, bubby. He played Pete like you would play Pete, like a little noob. Like a little noob. And we defend real well. We counter our rats, our superior rats come through. Now we got Pete and now look, 
Michael is gonna survive these cocks and actually out heal them if it looks like it regen's gonna help with that regen's gonna help the cocks not get killed by those cocks well played nice choice of cards oh now we got the Grand Wizard Cartman playing was this good to play the Furkle the Furkle surviving the re the cocks beautifully played there Furkle still doing work. Pete on the bottom side doing work. Furkle healing all the damage. Now we just play our Grand Wizard Cartman. Hopefully the last card we have to play, but we'll see. This might be trouble. His level three is coming our way. No, that's not a good play, but this is a good play. We're using the Swashbuckler. Now everybody has to come into us. Oh man, the Fireball might be good. Fireball over them, do it. Get as much value as you can. 30 damage, protect them all, put anything, yes! We didn't lose it! Moody, coming in clutch. And then there's this, Szechuan Sauce, 8K. Didn't last long. <laughs> the level four Grand Wizard Cartman fucked me in the butt. I did get a bar though. I did get a bar so we could see we could see how I get the first bar and then the level four Grand Wizard Cartman just murdered me new kid yeah scissor at new kid was murder yeah sizzle greater than mintberry crunch not if it was level one sizzle versus level one mintberry crunch though mintberry crunch was better if you couldn't get them leveled for sure how did I get a bar I must furkle or something I don't know yep I play furkle and play swashbuckler so that's what i did i'm actually laughing i can't even remember no i must fireball i bet no i just get a fucking lucky bar look at this fucking scrub oh but then he stuns me he double stuns me and the level that was guy was level five but anyway that's how i get the bar and then he just pushes into my face because i literally just cannot do anything against the level four grand wizard cartman just there's nothing i could do 3,000 health. That's more health than my entire deck. And I don't think I'm exaggerating. <laughs> so that was unfortunate. Moody catching one loss. But hard fought. Three victories for Moody. I cannot complain about that. I'm glad that they were tough ones. I'm glad that we had some fun ones to watch. Now that does it. Oh, that's that. Now that does it for looking back at the first week of year three. Now, let's look forward. Welcome in, everybody. Strong viewership tonight. Hope everybody's having a good time. Next, we're going to go through the deck for next week. And I haven't really looked at this too much this week, so this is kind of going to be going to be fresh to me. Um, but Pocahontas Randy versus Mary Jane Randy. In my honest opinion, if you can have Mary Jane Randy level 3 for the majority of your team, Mary Jane Randy might be the better pick. But it's just very likely that you're going to have Pocahontas to level 5, even potentially level 6. And if you look at the deck, the only potential upgrades for Legends you have are Mintberry Crunch, Incan, and Mysterion. So Mysterion could potentially not get upgraded very high because just the nature of him. So you might have some extra caps in that spot with the the Mary Jane Randy. Um, but I think you'll see more Pocahontas Randys, but there will be some teams that run Mary Jane Randy. Mary Jane Randy, and, and honestly, part of me wants to say that Mary Jane Randy with the Sharon might be the best combination that you can get. And then you can play your, your Inuit against their, their Randy to deal with him. Back it up with Inkin, probably, to clear out, you know, if he tries Mintberry Man Man Crunch or something like that. So, yeah, I th honestly think, like, Mary Jane Randy and Sharon, because Sharon can heal the plants, if you didn't know that. Sharon heals the plants, so, I mean, that's just, that could, that's so brutal. MJR4 since Season Reset. Well, I mean, you wouldn't even, yeah, yeah, that's exactly, you wouldn't want, yeah, you wouldn't want to bring to five, because not many people are going to have max, max four, probably, right? So, yeah, that's exactly where you'd bring them. So, yeah, you save caps by going Mary Jane, because that's as far as you'd bring them, whereas Pocahontas, you'd probably bring them to 
five at least, possibly even six, because you everybody's got him at level five, right? Yeah, exactly. Her, him, at, him at three. I know that him at two could beat up Sexy Nun Randy at five, but Sexy Nun Randy is much worse than Pocahontas. Pocahontas might just eat right through his his weak plants too. And don't forget, like he's getting supported by some nasty shit too. Um, Inuit versus Mysterion. That one's tough. Mysterion is just always so much value. There's no there's no way to remove the Mysterion with like a cock magic or anything like that. Um, but there is Inuit for the pretty much for the Randy is the only thing I can think, right? Maybe I mean you can you can snag the Inuit and kill the Mintberry Crunch. If you have a low level Inuit, when Mintberry Crunch is about to use his ability, you put uh, Mintberry Crunch in the corner, top or bottom, and he'll use the ability and it'll it'll target the Inkin and kill the Inkin. So that's a or the Inuit, sorry, and so that's a good way to kill um, kill him. Since Inuit is an option, I feel Pokemon this might be better since Poke can spawn the Indian kid to count Inuit. But well, that just depends on the level of the Inuit, you know? If the Inuit's leveled up at all, that won't work. The little Indian won't kill him, Pokemon will still kill him. Um, but yeah, that's that's for sure that's for sure one thing to think about. Um, but is Mysterion maybe better overall? Maybe? I mean, if you get him in your first hand, obviously he's better. I'm think I'm just trying to think, like, is the Randy, or potentially maybe even the Bar Brady, are they big enough threats? Or the Mimperry Crunch, where you'd want the Inuit? I think you'd want the Inuit, yeah. Yeah, dead Inuit, level 1 Inuit. Save the caps. And then you'd be able to dump them into probably a higher level Pocahontas. Um, Mosquito versus Storyteller. Well, I think I like Storyteller here because Mosquito is kind of just Inuit bait, or sorry, Incan bait, or Fireball bait, or I mean, to an extent, Super Fart bait, or Mintberry Crunch bait, um, ability bait. So I think the Storyteller might be great because you just like it completely makes rats uh, a pointless card to the extent that people might play hamsters just because Storyteller is an option. And if Storyteller gets to New Kid, it's it's ne New Kid doesn't do any damage. So FB Bolt and Ink can make Mimperry Mim Crunch worthless. That's I agree with that. I think Mimperry Crunch is a bad choice because of those options. Well, that's what I was gonna say when we get there. Fireball versus Lava. Yeah, Fireball is probably better. Let me look at the options. Fireball for the Mimperry Crunch. Yeah, Fireball to kill the Sharon before she can heal the group. Or the Timmy, yeah. Um, fireball on Mosquito and somebody else, yeah. Yeah, I think there's enough. Fi and Fireball just as a last, a last ditch effort to to kill the Dougie. If you don't have anything else that can kill the Dougie, um, I, I hate Lava. I think Lava is a terrible choice. I, I never think Lava is the right choice, even if it's base level. I don't give a fuck. I don't think Lava is the right choice. Nathan versus Buccaneer Bebe. I would say you want to go Buccaneer Bebe just because. She she survives the fireballs at certain levels. Nathan will always die, and same with Inkin. Nathan will always die to Inkin. Buccaneer Bebe like level five would survive level three, I think, stuff like that, right? Um, and with the rats as a potential or the hamsters as a potential, although I'm not sure if the hamsters maybe ignore the boost. I don't think so. I think you'd still get the buff. But anyway, there's potential for a lot of last hits for the Buccaneer Bebe to get a couple stacks. So I think that's a better card. And, yeah, Nathan's just gonna be so vulnerable. Fireball, Inkin, Mimperry Crunch, everybody just, or even just the the Timmy ability will kill him. We get pretty damn close. Um, I agree with you. I think Inkin's the choice here, just because Inkin directly counters his choice other counter slot, right? So like you just you can't possibly pick the card that the other one that you could pick counters it because if the team picks that card, you're fucked. So yeah, I think. Level 5 Inkin would be much better than level 5 Mintberry Crunch. And more people will have level 5 Inkin in most teams. Or level 4 Inkin, 3 Inkin, whatever the level is. More people will have Inkin level than Mintberry Crunch, just as a rule. Just because he's been out longer. Tupper versus Shaman. Um, is there anything out there that the Shaman would stop? The Shaman doesn't stop the Professor Timmy. I tried that before. Doesn't stop that. Um, it doesn't technically get rid of the Jimmy Aura. It might prevent it for like a second. 
but then it would just come back again. I guess it, I, it same thing with lava. So yeah, Shaman's not the choice. So Tupper is going to be the choice just because it avoids the super fart. It avoids the fireball damage. It avoids the lava. It avoids the lava from the, the general disarray. And general disarray is usually the right choice. General disarray is a tough card. He's very easy. Will he stop the plant draw? It, maybe for like a second. Auras like that, it might be for like a fraction of a second. Um, Bubby. Bubby, did you see that? The camera's not quite cropped right. Because I fucked up. Um, yeah, it'd be like a... This wouldn't be... Wouldn't be... Still a tiny little bit on that end. Did you see that? Um, no, there is. There's still just a tiny bit. Oh, that's that's gonna bug the shit out of me. All right. Oh, I just go up a tiny bit. Just one fucking pixel. There we go. Still there. I'm gonna murder him. Oh my. Oh my god. If I do. We did it. We did it, guys. Um, Chump, welcome back. Go whale, you scrubs. Shox, welcome. Been at 7 out of 8 for months now. You Incan plebs are the worst. I'm at 4 out of 8. Yeah, Incan's just the right choice. Because Incan can help deal with the Dougie immediately and also, like, maybe hurt Sharon or PC Principal, whoever's in the middle. Um, Bar Brady, maybe. Um, oh shit, we just, we skipped over, we skipped over that one. <laughs> Um, the Dougie, the general, I love this cap. General Disarray is definitely the choice though. Just that free lava, that pretty much free lava that you get. I know, Bubby. I know. I know. Tough being famous, I know. I know, it's tough being famous, Bubba. It's tough being famous, Bubby. Um, yeah, the... The General Disarray has just got so much value. And you can play General Disarray at 5 to save caps too. Um, but... D Barrel Dougie... Just gonna get removed. So, it, like, it, it, like most likely just gonna get removed by something. So, most... Like, it's gonna be better to get that lava out there at least. Than maybe force a removal on something and be able to use that lava to your advantage. Sharon versus Timmy. If you go... Well, actually, no, let's jump up. No, let's do Sharon versus Timmy, then let's jump up here. If you go Mary Jane Randy, you absolutely have to go Sharon. Sharon is so fucking strong with Mary Jane Randy because I don't know if you knew this, but Sharon heals the plants. So, very brutal, very brutal combination. Um,. And then, then with the ink in to help clean up, the PC principle to push things out of the way, and then the plant pulls them back in. It's just, it's a nice combination. Um, and that's why I think PC principle is the better choice here. Uh, you got to be careful with the fireball and the PC principle, though, so that your PC principle doesn't push something out of your fireball range. But otherwise, I don't think Bar Brady is good enough anymore. All you got to do is play PC principle by Bar Brady, and PC principle is probably going to beat him, you know, and you can push him out of the way and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, Bar Brady, I don't think is good enough. And for the cost, you know, the PC principal level four is going to be much easier to couple. There's, the, the deck's kind of heavy. There's a lot of four cost cards in this deck, so it's kind of heavy. Especially if you go Mysterion. Um, but yeah, Inkin I think is better. Tupperware. Uh, Rats versus Hamsters. I think Hamsters level four, honestly, isn't a bad choice here. Versus, you know, level five maybe for the max fours. Um... Versus the rats just because they survived the super fart, you know? Super fart's just free energy. If, if you play the rats, not on defense. Like, if you play rats on defense and they get some value before they get super farted, that's actually good. That's actually pretty good. Um, but... Otherwise, well, you know what? Never mind. Nobody's gonna have super fart because we're gonna people are gonna probably have to run lightning bolt just to deal with the mimpberry crunch if it's a mimpberry crunch at a decent level. Or potentially, I mean, Sharon or Timmy is also a really good lightning bolt target. 
Um, if Sharon or Timmy can't be fireballed, then you gotta lightning bolt them. But the fireball then can deal with the midbury crunch. Most likely midbury crunch is gonna play in, in fireball range of the Timmy or the Sharon. So yeah, I think Barbrady disarray and get some. What are you gonna do? I mean, let, like you, I could let you take a bar and counter probably. You put you put PZ principal out, man. Push him out of the lava. <laughs> What's up, bottom? Welcome in. But yeah, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of differences this week. There might be some lower leveled Mary Janes out there. You never know. Most likely we're gonna see Inuits level one. Most likely we're gonna see Fireball. Potentially maybe some dead lavas, but I don't think there's enough cards to like. There's not a whole lot of epic choices. So I don't think there's a lot of cards that are going to need to get leveled up and cost a lot of crazy ass monkey. What's up? They're, Bubby, what are you doing? Would you stab it? You're just fucking making me sweat because you're such a hot little body. How can one little 10 pound kitty produce so much goddamn heat? Look at this fat fucking sleepy fuck. Yeah, he heard me. You heard me. You're getting chubby, Bubby. You're getting chubby, Bubby. You gotta start running around the house more at 2 a.m. Yeah, you're getting you're getting chubby. I don't think it's really a dar buff. I think it's a debuff. Uh, anyway, mosquito versus. Yeah, you got you gotta go, storyteller man. I'm telling you, he's the way, the truth, and the life. Now he's a good card. Uh, Buccaneer Bebe is probably better than Nathan. Fireball for sure. PC Principal, I think for sure. Inkin for sure. Sharon, if you go Mary Jane. Otherwise, Timmy's pretty brutal card. Um, so if you go Pocahontas, I don't think T Timmy on the bottom left corner. I think is your money your money play every time. Um, Hamsters is probably better, but rats is better leveled. I don't know. Would just I don't want to. I just don't want to feed energy into a super fart. Some random fuck has a super fart, or just feed energy into the Incan, or feed energy into the lava, or feed energy into the buccaneer. I just think hamsters is a better bet, and the hamsters can run through a lava and and deal with the general disarray. That's mostly it. Like when general disarray comes at you, play the lot, play the hamsters in front of them and on top of the lava. They don't get damaged by it. They kill him real quick. And then your homie can hopefully walk past and get healed by Sharon. So I think the, the, the lavas aren't going to be too good if you're good to counter them. But if, if you also play them right, there's, it's going to be fucking hell to deal with too. <laughs> Cause you can support the general disorder with like an Incan and clear out what they're going to defend you with. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, now the moment we've been waiting for, let's look at the dev update for next week, which is pretty much the beginning of the new year, according to them. Let me... All right. And next... <laughs> this cat is just so fucking sleepy right now. And next week, we'll get back to giving away physical South Park cards. Let me grab a couple of them. If you guys didn't know, we have quite a few of these to give away. Here is a bunch of them, Mysterion, Angel Wendy, stuff like that. Um, those ones were given away slowly but surely. We've given away maybe like 10 of them or something so far. Stole my kids Kool-Aid Jammer. Oh, you like those? They're like Capri Suns, but they're Kool-Aid brand. It's awesome. You still got the shiny coon? Yes, I still haven't given away a shiny a shiny coon yet. Hey, 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 hey. You go from sleeping to fighting? You go from sleeping to fighting? You go from sleeping to fighting? What are you doing? Go, go, kill him. Attack. Attack! Attack! Go, Bubba. Let me go, Bubba. 
Let me go, Bubby. Let me go. If he really grabs onto me, dude, he's 10 pounds of fucking mayhem. Um, anyway. So this week we got a general disarray. Is it a mission event? No, token event. That's today and tomorrow. It will tar start today and run for two days. And then after that, we got chaos, chaos mode featuring Archangel Bradley, the newest card, which I have the stats here. But what he does is he is a flying fighter. So think imp, imp tweak. Um, Allied, I don't know what his his attack range is, and that's going to be a big part of whether or not he's going to be good is his attack range. But um, allied tanks have 150 max health given to them, basically. And enemies near allied tanks are slowed down until Bradley dies. Now, if you look at the stats, we see that at level 5, which is going to be like your competitive epic level, basically, um, he's getting... 522 extra health now if you look at level 4 464 5 not a whole huge difference um, But his body becomes pretty good at level 5 100 attack once you get to that 100 attack ratio is pretty good We'll see how quickly he attacks, but his HP is only 343 That's like three hits from a Medusa or something like that. That's like one hit for somebody who's boosted in the right way so not He's probably gonna die pretty quickly. We'll see how quick he is We'll see how useful it is. I think one of the reasons why he's kind of... Um, one of the reasons why he's not going to be great in comparison to... Um, in comparison to just like what other options you have in that slot for the Mystic decks is just simply because he's gonna... One, he's just gonna he's gonna fly past the tanks. I guarantee you he's faster than all the tanks. Like flying units are typically faster just kind of as a rule. Like think Cupid. Cupid's fast as fuck. And Albus, stop it. And the um uh There's there's not very many units that really play well with him. There isn't a whole lot of tanks. Um the only good cards that really would pair with a card like this would be you run a deck what's up Siba you run a deck full of tanks but the only like cheap tanks you have are Sheriff who sucks dick even with an extra 500 health he's not going to be much better and PC Principal who with an extra 500 health admittedly becomes a pretty damn good card for four cost but you don't I mean Zen is three cost but giving him more health is just like using a hallelujah like I mean it's not you don't really use that on him, right? Slaves a tank. Yeah, but like they're all five cost. They're all six cost. You need four cost tanks to really pair with something like this. Because if you run a deck with two tanks in it, just to get Bradley value, that one of them's going to get removed. And so inevitably, like you're not going to have two out there. And with cock magic just getting buffed, which we'll talk about later, People are like, you don't want to run two tanks. For sure, you don't want to run two tanks. You don't want to run Zen and Man Bear Pig anymore because you're going to get. He's going to be an amazing card, except against Aerostorm. Yeah, Aerostorm kills him um, at pretty much every level, I think. Three, seven, max six. Once you get to max six, he'll start surviving the Aerostorm. But New Kid still kills him. So, I mean, yeah, not, not very great. Legendary Kuhn is four cost. That's funny. But yeah, so I, I don't think. I mean, Kuhn's one card that might actually benefit really well from him because just that value you get from the extra attack and give him some more health to survive, not bad. Um, but using it with Zen, you're going to use it behind Zen. Zen's key is to slow play, and if you play Bradley, Bradley's just going to fly into battle and, and die, right? So you either have to play in a way where it's just very defensively and Bradley is just used um Bradley is just used to uh to to slow people like just like play him behind your new kid when the battle's on your side and just build this like incredible push like like the exact same kind of push you would build with Zen plus like a, a three cost fighter like witch doctor and then you put visitors out or something and then you put 
ninju or medusa out and then you put ninju and then you dar the ninja or something like that you do the exact same thing except instead of that first three cost fighter like the witch doctor or the poseidon or whatever the fuck you're running in that slot maybe it's some or whatever it might be you play archangel instead you give zen the extra attack but it's mostly for the slow you use that slow to win that push maybe he overextended and then you have a infinite stop so I don't know. MJ pots are tanks? No, uh, no. I think they're considered totems, which aren't considered anything. So they shouldn't get boosted by that. Yeah, they're considered totems. Roombas can't get boosted, I imagine, because Roombas, like the the drone, doesn't get boosted by Frontier Bradley. So it's safe to say that they won't get the the heal. But it's a there's a slight potential that they would get the slow aura. Which, to an extent, might be really good if you have a couple of robots slowing people while sexing on or six element Randy's fucking shit up. But I think for the most part, I don't. The only reason I think that is because hamsters, when you play it with Space Pilot Bradley, even though they don't get the speed boost, they still get the stun. So it'll it'll be interesting how it works. Might give them more health. I I don't think so. I don't think it'll give him more health. Um, he'll be a bonus card in this week's challenge deck, so you'll get a 13 deck cycle, get to try him out. Uh, he probably won't be great in challenge mode, just cause like, it's, what is it in challenge mode? 131 extra HP, or 175 extra HP. I, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's enough to matter, but we'll see. It'll be interesting to see just that's just that's not a challenge mode I want to play because it'll just be probably slow as fuck. I think Redlings programmed that. I don't know honestly. I don't know how it works. The theme of his first uh, holy birds. All holy cards will cost one less point than usual, and all flying characters will have boosted stats. Okay, so at least he's gonna have boosted stats. It'll be fun to see Starvin Marvin run around and Cupid kick some ass. So yeah, that might be some fun. And then we have a weekend event. Um, obviously, we have the typical Thursday event where you get coins and PVP tickets, which I'm, I like that event. It's a nice one. Um, but we have Bradley, where we'll be able to mess with him, which will be fun. He might be good. Alternative Kite will be fun to play him at a higher level. I'm excited for that. Um, and then Woodland Critters you can throw back in your deck. So some of the newer cards, you can give them a shot at a higher level again. So that's cool. So this event will be pretty fun. There'll be a lot of fun stuff you can do. As always, make sure you check out their Discord and my Discord. Battle Pass 15 is coming out soon. If you haven't finished yours, you have till Thursday. So make sure you grind out the final few passes. And if you can't, it's worth the 150 cash to finish out a few of them to get the last legendary. As long as you're not spending like more than a thousand cash to do it. Like honestly, buying the last five tiers isn't even incredibly like bad, you know, for what you get. But obviously you want to try to finish it without that because it's just like a time thing, right? The Hellbilly, welcome up. Or Tex Hellbilly. Any ideas on AoE for slowing? I have no idea. Um, that's another thing that will kind of depend on whether he's going to be good or not. I think they learned with Frontier Bradley that an AoE thing like that has to be pretty small. So I imagine it'll be the type of AoE that won't affect a range unit, but it would affect anybody that's attacking that unit. Um, and then maybe somebody walking by nearby them. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And it'll be interesting to see, is it like based on the unit? Like, is it bigger if the unit's bigger or whatever? I don't know. It's gonna have AOE size like which garrison? That'd be interesting. <clears throat> All right, so now, um, anyway, the new Bradley is gonna be the, the focus of the next battle pass. So we'll at least be able to get him leveled fairly quickly. Yeah, the AOE's around the tank, right. I'm lurking while I play Apex. Hey, thanks, man. Nami Kyo. Namikyo, welcome. All right, so the balance changes. This is the important stuff. This is the shit that you're here for. Frontier Bradley. The range of his AOE has been reduced from by 13%, 1.5 to 1.3. Pretty good. It, it lets you be a little bit more lenient on how you defend against him, where you play your units against him, and that'll make the it'll it'll be a little bit less foolproof to just play him and hit hit everybody. So I like that. I like that. Technically, the vacuums are classified as tank. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think they're gonna count. You here for the comment system? Well, you're getting there, Bonham. 
Um, Dark Angel Red would increase her stats to four, or increase her cost to four, and then increase her stats to make up for it. Now, let me know what you guys think about that. Because I honestly agree with that, because whatever you want to say, increasing the cost of a card should change should change the stats of it or decreasing it should change the stats of it like when they changed space warrior to be two cost and they didn't change his stats space warrior was a fucking monster for a while until they paired him back a little bit right um but 32 percent and 30 like 30 percent that's a lot for one cost so so it's going up by i guess it's going up by 30 percent cost but you don't just because it goes up by 30 percent cost doesn't mean you put it up 30 percent stats like you're you also ha you also have to kind of nerf the fact of what that fucking ability does right um but maybe in their testing they found that the four cost investment makes it that much just makes it a little bit harder to play and makes it so that you know you can't i mean how many times do you play the dar where you just barely have the energy to play the dar and then you get the thing just at the last moment like that happens quite a bit but um robin tweak we've reduced his cost three to four and his stats have been reduced that's the same thing so this is interesting they reduce them less than they increase the dark angel um and it's you know technically changing the same but i robin tweak's ability is impactful enough where i agree if he's three his stats should be less you know so like i don't know it's tough but like if you were to go if you were to take dark angel right now and you were going to say all right we're going to change her to three cost i would say I, I would say you wouldn't take 30 percent away from her so i guess it's like it goes the same way so yeah robin tweak that amount is probably closer to what it should be but yeah like, like you said he wasn't very good to begin with but now it's just now he's just uh he's not a good card necessarily he's just it's all about that that cheap ability and i'm definitely gonna run that motherfucker on moody and boost the shit out of my level 6 cki for sure and just shit on people's world I'm gonna love it dar without her respawn is garbage yeah exactly it's a ninju dar buff yeah that's what i was thinking casey uh exact i said that on facebook somewhere that ninju dar is still gonna be a problem and to an extent even worse because now dar getting that ninju boost is even better um and if you do it right you can get you can play the dar right when the ninju boost comes out and then kill the ninju and then get the double ninju boost on the dar which is pretty pretty dirty especially if she's got what would she have 166 health yeah she'd have quite a bit of health at level five um yeah it's interesting i think it'll be i think it might pair out to be all right just because that extra four cost now if somebody like before if somebody whiffs a dar that three cost they whiff it and they just leave a bare ass dar they could still come back and still like fight because three cost losing three isn't the end of the world losing four with something like that even though she's a little bit better of a body that's brutal so it's definitely gonna be more likely that people will just fuck off if they screw up dar <laughs> Um, but yeah, the Robin tweak being cheaper. I like that. I'd love to see him boost some slaves and then slave becomes unbeatable Because um, his heal gets increased shit like that The whole point was that it was an anti-zen card. Yeah, and now he can't even now he can't even uh, um, Change dart and not work on legendary fix. No, I don't something like that doesn't really work necessarily. What's up rabbit by the way? Good to see you again. Um, something like that doesn't necessarily work because then they're kind of limiting themselves to what abilities and stuff they can give to epic cards and rare cards and common cards, right? That's kind of a thing that they did with Pope. Now, they finally got that got wise and they put like made Henrietta not revivable, right? So now they could do that with other cards. They could put a 10 cost card that's not revivable. But the moment they put Pope in there, in their, in the options, it limited them from making Man Bear Pig two times better, but be 10 cost card or something like that, you know? Maybe Man Bear Pig can't be removed by spells or something like that, but he's 10 cost. I don't know. A lot of salty players use Zen. Oh, I'm sure. No ink and ninju dar solves 90% of the grievances. I, I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you there. But what would also solve that partially would be 
put it to four cost so he can't get the five cost anymore so then you can't get the ink in anymore then you can't get the but the problem there is that then you can't get the randys you can't get the garrisons which are really the only tank options to her for to for her to pull back so maybe an option would be she can only do it to melee cards she can't bring back melee she can't bring back range units because the the single biggest thing that she can do that's the the biggest the, the single biggest thing that she does fuck the war cries and all that shit the single biggest thing that she does is just reposition a range card which can win you a game if you have a range card that's almost about to die they put a lot of energy into it and you can just reset that guy back behind your new kid that's really really impactful and you have another range behind you that you can then boost with a ninja or something that's really 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 impactful especially if it's on something like a medusa who's got a lot of fucking health anyway so i think I think if you made it so that she could, he could only bring back melee units. So then your only targets would be the Randys, uh, Pocahontas, Garrison, Sizzler, stuff like that. I think that's a better solution than no legends, because that kind of, that kind of gimps you. Like you couldn't, you couldn't make a good, a good epic unit then and think like, oh, you couldn't make. I don't know. I, I think you get what I'm saying. How does it? How about it doesn't kill the card, just moves it and heals it? So no war cry or death switch. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like I, I I same same concept, but like just don't don't re-trigger the war cries. If it doesn't re-trigger the war cry, it does kind of the same thing. Um one, you can still use it for the death wishes, which there's not a whole lot of death wish cards, so that's that's okay. Bar Brady, Leanne, those combos are still possible, which I think is good because those those combos should be available because they're not super like they're gimmicky right so it's so stuff like that should be possible um but yeah then inkin ninju um sizzler to an extent aren't aren't as good and then your targets go back to your high value like medusa would still get good value um medusa like darring back medusa and then ninjuing that would still be a big problem though, in my opinion so i think i like the idea of doing only melee units i think that's actually an interesting idea you shouldn't revive five cost cards. Yeah. And ninja should cost five. Yeah, that's see, that's fair. Um, and ninja should cost five, but and then get more stats, right? Get 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 beefier. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't disagree there. Or at least like the four cost ninja should get less less stats at least. Um, for what he brings to the table. He really shouldn't have a lot of attack. He shouldn't have a hundred attack. He should have under 80. When you have a card like Outlaw that does a does something that's like somewhat unimpactful like his ability can be super impactful but i mean it's only you know potentially a couple hundred damage on each person right it's not like 120 damage increased onto people forever on any amount of people like what if it was a, a an amount like four people like the nearest three and the nearest three people and it had to be within a circle around ninja or something like that to to make it so you couldn't boost a cock that's across the field and win a game or something like that you know dark angel red we've increased her cost to four from three. Oh, did i skip one? Oh yeah i skipped one <laughs> skip three i'm so oh it's two okay um okay stay in the great this one's kind of interesting his charge rate is a little bit faster not bad. Pretty good, actually. 10 seconds. First one's 5 seconds. Not bad. His health's been boosted to 14. So that's a pretty good boost. 14%. Not terrible. And increases attack down by 20%. So that's going to make a lot of cards zero. Right now, I was just saying this on another stream. Stan the Great's real issue is that he didn't bring enough cards to nothing. So that... The idea with Stan the Great is to bring cards down so far that when you pair him with like Cock Magic or uh, Cock House or Leanna, whatever it might be, you bring them down so far that they can't deal with the cocks. Like the cocks will just overwhelm them. And then that's the idea with, with Dark Mage Craig, right? You use Dark Mage Craig and then the defenders can't deal with the, the aggro that you put on them. So you could use Stand the Great and Dark Mage Craig right now and, and make some units just absolutely worthless. And the biggest part about this here, if you didn't notice this, the card text is now changed and the power will negate enemy unit attack boosts. So bye bye Ninju boost 
and that's so for the five second length of it. So buy ninju boost for five seconds. That's pretty brutal. And that's kind of like what shaman token should be is shaman token should take away enemy buffs. I would honestly make him four cost and take away enemy buffs and he's a fucking good card. Um, give him a little more stats than two, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you'll see. I think we'll see some more Stan the Great cock decks. Honestly, I think Moody might actually put that together because that's a really devastating fantasy, cheap fantasy deck. And then you throw in the cock magic, which we're adding one more target. So before it was level one was one, level two was two, level three was three. Now level one is two, two is three. So it's n level plus one, right? So level five can pull six units now. Um, but if you see the card text, it says transforms two random non-cock units, which means it will now ignore the cocks. So if you have a bunch of cocks out there, they won't potentially take away a target. So if they have Grand Wizard Cartman out and you have six cocks out and you use cock magic, the Grand Wizard Cartman's dead. And their attack gets boosted for five seconds. So you could really make a sweet turnaround. I mean, you could put, I, I mean, with the coop and then you put the Randy out maybe, and then you have some extra, and then maybe Randy turns into a cock, but you get an extra cock. Like it, it could be pretty fun. I think, I think remove F Bradley buff and Mackie buff. Yeah, it should be every buff. Okay. I'm not sure about Mackie. Mackie with the aura, the aura, removing auras is weird. Um, I'm not sure if it'll if, if it'll stop Mackie, but um, it'll definitely stop the. Well, you know, Bradley's a Bradley's an aura too, right? I'm not sure. That's a good question. That's one we'll have to see. In my opinion, it should like it should put those units in like a power binded state, where for that five seconds nothing will affect them. If that's how they coded it, I think that's how it how it'll do it. If it just like clears it once, like Shaman Token does, it, it probably will. They'll probably just come right back after like a second, but. If it puts them like into a state where they can't be boosted, then and, and it'd be interesting. Like, what if I use Ninju after this was used? Like, what if I use Ninju in the first second of this? Does the boost just not go on for that first five seconds, or does the boost does the boost stack on? Um, so there's a couple of use cases that will be interesting to see how his ability now deals with, and we'll probably play him in on Moody and find some of those out on stream. At cloud hopefully shit goes good for your surgery um but that's an interesting change like who the fuck comes up with something like that who's sitting there thinking oh yeah we should change we should change cock magic to be uh be even more punishing i mean i get that they made it more expensive and then that it really dropped its usage but man i miss i miss the days when you don't have to worry about cock magic now we might have to worry about it again uh lame this makes her even better when you play a high energy deck powered by mystic things um, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes her better with the Ninju deck, I think. But it, I think it makes her a little bit less deadly when you're just getting it with the, like, you're just trying to get the ink in, the ink in twice, basically. Um, that's not as punishing. Stuff like the Sizzler, not as punishing, but we'll see. That'll, the time will tell with that one. And if they, if they, if it turns out that she turns into a fucking monster, then, and she also doesn't get hit by new kid, so increasing her stats at all when she doesn't get hit by new kid kind of sucks, but um, We'll see. We'll see. Also a small note if you send a message to me. Okay, okay Robin tweak stats were already lame. Did it really need to be reduced? I agree Thanks for adding more cement to the already dead unit. I mean To say that like that's a dumb as shit comment like yes the stats were already lame, but the ability for three cost is still pretty fucking good. If I can get a stacked, like if I get a stacked CKI, like think think about it right now. Right now I put Robin Tweak out and I stack CKI and he uses Unholy Combustion and kills my CKI. So that's seven value that I used. He used five and then I just had Robin Tweak out. For, like So it's like a two value Robin Tweak out not bad but now that's a one value robin tweak that's still out on the board so that that those stats are a one value if you if the guy gets removed so like it works out pretty well if it's a lightning bolt there's one difference but i mean it works pretty well 
Everything Dar is still viable. Yeah. I think you're. I think you are underestimating in practice when you typically were getting three Dars out. How them being one more cost? Like you don't get more energy. You have what 72 energy in a typical game. You're not gonna get more of it. So you you just instantly. That's three more energy that you're gonna have to not spend every game. I, th I think you'll see that that'll be more impactful. I mean, I know how many fucking games I've won in the last second by just getting enough energy to play Inkin and Dar, right? To be fair, to be fair. Nice nerf on Dar. She definitely needed the stat increase. Yeah, I think 30. I think if you would have increased her stats 10%, nobody would have batted an eye. They would have been like, all right, that's fair. Like, she's a little more expensive. Like, that's fair. If I kill her target, it'll be a little bit less impactful. Why are you guys increasing Dar's stats? She didn't need any buffs or nerfs. Now she's still going to be insanely strong. Now that you guys have failed at balancing her, I'll be continuing complaining for her to now cost 5 energy. <laughs> oh god, you guys are actually making Mystical the only playable theme now. I mean, people are dumb. I don't know about that. Told you Mystic Bradley would buff tanks. That's true. I mean, everybody knew that, right? I didn't. I figured more more health, but the slow is nice. I, I thought about an AOE slow. I think I did think about that. Venture Lock gonna need a deck change now. Might have to remove Pocahontas and put in Storyteller. Storyteller is great, dude. Honestly, Storyteller plays really well against the Sizzler. 100% agree. This is really disappointing. They should have been four and kept her stats as they were. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have hated like a 10, like it's a 10% increase, 12% increase, but 30%, like oh. That's just like some fucking dipshit who's never played the game sitting there. Well, how much did we increase your stats by? Oh, 30%? Or how much did we increase your value by? 30%? Okay, increase your stats by 30%. Um, but sir, the the issue was that her, her war cry was kind of more more value than we kind of initially... No, 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 no. 30%. 30% increase. Fucking, it's just so dumb. This is pitiful. <laughs> they were going to increase her stats and then her range of effect and attack range should have been reduced. Eh, eh, yeah, I mean, yeah, making the Dark Angel, like, making the AoE circle a little slower would have been a good one, too, just to make it a little bit harder. Like, I shouldn't be able to pull a card away from New Kid. You know what I mean? Like, if my card's at New Kid, I shouldn't be able to pull it away. Like, that's stupid. Enemy cocks are smaller and flaccid compared to my cocks? Hell yeah. They should sell this card in pill form. LOL. <laughs> They barely have the staff to code. Yeah, for sure. There's probably like six people there. You guys absolutely failed on Dar. Absolutely insane. Even with their stats now and forecast, she'll be incredibly OP. I, she won't still be incredibly OP. So you just think like that's just so silly. Like you think that she's loot. She's one more cost completely, which has only happened what two times in the game that a card has increased cost. Is this the first time a card has ever increased cost? I think it might be. I think everything else has lowered cost, right? Pope, did Pope go up in cost? Pope went down in cost and then up in cost? I can't remember. But yeah, lower, like raise the full cost. And you think he's still gonna be OP? No, she'll be good still. She's not gonna be incredibly strong anymore. Like there's a, that's a big change. Have you ever looked at the game? <laughs> She's in nearly every deck in the high ranks. Oh, that's not necessarily true right now, actually. Further, you bring out the absolutely broke Bradley. For I don't think I don't think Bradley's broke. I really I think people think that it's a range card. If it was a range card, holy fuck, holy fuck. If Bradley Mystic was a range card, this thing would be a fucking nightmare. But it's gonna just fly his happy skinny little ass right over the tanks that are slowing everybody down and then what he's gonna die and then the slow's gone right i just i don't get it just thank you for this i will quit the game okay like that's so stupid like if if one balance change makes you quit the game you're a stupid person in my in my honest opinion because you know that the game's gonna change again in a month 
The devs seem to love Mystical. They've eased off of the Mystical event recently, but a lot of buffs of Mystical cards recently. The Bradley has the potential to be OP yet again. I really don't think so. How boring games are going to be now? Stick Zen out, then play Medusa, Mecha, or any good Rangers and play Bradley. What What the fuck do you... Why, why do you think... Okay. Okay. That happens. And then I just wait until your fucking Bradley's next to me and I ink in the shit out of him or something. Or I Satan the whole push. What are you talking about? What is that slow going to do? Like, you get one... You get one defensive push out of him, and then he's gonna die. You get a ninju put you get a ninju on him, and then he's a little badass unit. It'll kind of depend on his attack range and how quickly he attacks and how quickly he moves. That's a big that's a big what if about him and how good he's gonna be. But if those three things aren't good, he's not gonna be very good. Yeah, Mamber pigs the shit, baby. This new Bradley, the three cost elite, is better on paper than four cost legendary Mamberry man -bear Crunch. Oh, I would hope he's better. I'd hope he has better stats. He's a fucking fighter, you dipshit. Also, I don't think that's true. He's only got like 300 fucking health. He's got 393 health at max three. And you bet your ass Mimperry Crunch has more. Does he just mean like he's factoring in the total health? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You can get total health. But you're not going to have more than two tanks out there ever. If you have three tanks out there, you're going to lose the game anyway. I don't know. Dar makes this. I mean, the only thing I can... After, like, you use Dar and then you use this. And it kind of circumvents that a little bit. That's pretty good. I don't hate that. But there's just not enough cheap tanks for this card to be good if there was a couple more three cost tanks that kind of did nothing but they were still classified as tanks this card would be a fucking nightmare if there was a swarm like the vacuums that was actually a tank like my opinion for gnomes was that gnomes should have been changed from an assassin to be like a little tank unit and get like 14 attack and like 100 health or something like that like a lot of health and less attack um and then those motherfuckers would get boosted, but that would be broken as shit. Can you imagine? That's like what? Thousand extra health just out of nowhere? Because <laughs> then, but anyway, the idea there is that then they wouldn't get boosted by the, the other Bradley. <laughs> I w wanted Bradley to have a heal buff effect, not a slow. I'm not down. Well, I think Poseidon needed some extra slow in, in Mystic to make him make sense, so I think it's good for them. This does suggest the game is at end point. They're just milking whales. No, I think you're just fucking stupid if you think that this card's gonna be like this broke. Mary Jane Randy? Now that's something you can fucking cry about. Like that motherfucker is, if you have him at level five, it's just free fucking games, man. Healing has never had its moment in the sun. Tell that to SDNW. Sick of Bradley ruining your game? Cthulhu is here to inflict some serious pain. Instantly removes Bradley from the play field. Three. I mean, a card like this is only really viable if you're playing a game where you like have 30 cards in your deck. So think like Hearthstone, where there's a four cost card that kills any card that has more than eight, eight attack, right? So I could play an eight drop that has eight attack and he could remove me for four cost. And that's that like you can have really pared down specific cards like that if you have a lot of cards in your deck or a lot of you know available cards so something specific like this it's just not gonna work because like just the odds of there being a bradley you only have five cards in your hand a game like hearthstone like i can keep call of cthulhu in my hand forever not play it have 10 cards and just wait for the bradley whereas in south park that card would just be sitting there and you can't use it right don't like it then now has a taunt and a slow go mystical go. I don't think that's gonna be very useful. Like the ten, like you you can like with Zen you're gonna get extra health, but then he's just gonna die. Like Bradley's just gonna run past the Zen and die, right? As soon as whoever like as soon as Bradley comes out, you gotta stop playing fucking cards. Your push is over. Any value that you put into that, you gotta you gotta cut your losses because you have to just let them get to your side, let the Bradley get out of pocket and start hitting with a range card or something like that. It's the only way. Um, Dar now super OP. I don't think Dar is super OP. That's silly. Admin, oh, that's so silly. That's so fucking silly. That's so fucking dumb. To think that 30% stat increase makes her that much better when it's a whole cost, a whole 
A whole a whole cost. One whole value different. <laughs> Prior to seven is good. Common. Okay, suggestion. Common in most rare cards when you buff, don't nerf anything. That's why they're getting a buff because they are crap cards that no one plays. Since uh -huh, y'all killed them years ago. You never need to reduce any stats. I agree with that. If you're good, well, I mean, not when you buff. If you change their cost, which shouldn't be something that happens very often. Changing the cost of a card should be the absolute last thing that you do to, to, to change like the value of a card. Should be the last thing that you do. You should try a few things before you do that. Because you don't, you don't want to go willy-nilly changing your card energies around. You just don't want to do that. Um, I don't care. These stat changes kind of nullify the logic to changing the cost of a card in the first place. Although Dar's ability plays into hers more. Dar already had really good stats for a ranged unit though and didn't need better stats just because of the cost increase. I agree. Robin Tweak also wasn't a bad card because he's four cost. He was a bad card because his stats were terrible. Yeah. Well now, the three, I, I mean, yeah. The three cost is just his ability now. I mean, think if you had a three cost ability that gave a unit just that much health. You could, you could pick any unit and give them, what is it, like 500 health? You could pick any unit and just give them 500 health. Would you ca would you pay three energy for that? You could just boost a hanky whenever you wanted. I think you'd, I think you'd pay three energy for that. I knew this was coming. Whatever they will make of Mystic Bradley, they will need to account how it works out with Man Bear Pig. And knowing them, it will be a problem. As a player who thinks that removals are lame to deal with the game and enjoy play strategically, I usually take care of man bear pigs either trolling them with drone or space pilot Bradley. Once again, you are rendering skilled players useless. Oh, uh, except drone doesn't get slowed, you dumb fuck. You dumb fucking idiot. And, I mean, space pilot Bradley, he's still gonna stun him. Your assassins aren't gonna be as fast, but you're still gonna stun him. Hey, Drew, welcome in. Thanks for the sub, buddy. The typical buff nerf that shows how poor devs are concerned with game balance and only make changes that do not impair sales. I, that's so stupid. That's so fucking dumb. They think, they, they're not fucking taking into account the stats of cards and whether or not this thing will sell. Maybe on the initial creation of the card. Maybe on the initial creation of the card. But on balance changes, absolutely not. I mean, maybe you could say that that was true if they had packs where you could pick and, and buy buy these cards that they just nerf or they just buffed like oh you just buffed stan the great it's not like i can just spend a hundred dollars and get stan the great leveled up it, it would take months to get him leveled up to play it for most people so like what the fuck are you talking about if there is card like world war doe has these chests where you can pick you can pick the cards you want like you get a you get a certain amount of commons a certain amount of rares a certain amount of epics and then one legend and you get to pick one of them you, you can pick what legend you get or you can pick which epic you get 30 of or which common you get 300 of or whatever it is if you had something like that then you could say yes that you're just you're just you're just changing these cards so that people will then buy that card and play it because it's so strong but like when you're buffing or nerfing cards that have already been out and people probably already have it a level where they can play it nobody's gonna fucking buy it now that they buffed it more because they already had fucking they already fucking had it exactly k <laughs> or moron complete morons all right i'm so waiting for scotty to come and see this lol literally everyone said this yeah, of course Bradley would buff tanks. Like, that's easy. Cthulhu, instead of as a card as a game mode where Bradley's not allowed to enter. That's so dumb. Why do people think Bradley is such a problem? <laughs> Stop making cards when you have so many cards that need fixed. That's just not how it works. And so many bugs that need fixed. Not to mention a stale storyline that you guys are doing nothing with. Well, that's how these games work, bud. It's about the PvP. It's not about the story. The story's there just to get people into the game, learn it, and you know get some rewards and then it's all about the pvp and it will and already is the downfall of this game i mean the game's going pretty strong for three years man like in comparison to some of the other games that i play that have only been out for a year and have nowhere near the player base this one has i'm not worried about this game ending anytime soon man or losing support and it's because they continue to release stuff 
heroic has had one new unit since I start two new units since I started playing it like two years ago World War Do World War Doe has new units all the time. That one's doing great champion strike has yet to have a new unit Soul of Eden has some new units, but they don't fucking change anything They don't add new fucking story elements or shit like that But that's just not how it works like that's like saying oh Microsoft Word stop stop researching and developing like making it better like in an overall like ui or adding new features and shit like that stop doing that when there's still certain bugs that exist bugs exist in software it will always be that way especially in video games every game you play i promise you there's bugs maybe you don't notice them i promise you there's bugs you guys had a perfect opportunity to revive the use of heal spells and effects in the meta with mystic brad and you completely choked well, yeah, what do you want? What did you want mystic Brad heal spells to heal twice as much so that only two cards in the whole fucking game get affected by him? That's stupid as shit. No, I, I'm glad that you're not. I'm glad that you're not involved in making the fucking cards, bro. What's up, Drew? Welcome back. Everybody loves South Park. Yeah, Mana Strike is getting shut down because it sucked. Cause they in their pay model was dog shit. When Fat Seb told me he had like a max deck like three months into playing, I was like, okay, okay. It's like, yeah, either one, you either don't have a max deck and like you have like decent levels and that's like just the competitive level, or it's it really is that easy, which means the game will not be around for very long. And it wasn't even a year, probably a little over a year, and they're shutting it down. Uh, and then to buff bar dar more than she's being nerfed Yeah, I mean it's, it's pretty fair the nerf was needed to adjust the insane value you get from reviving five costumes Yeah, for sure. You also buff stats the same percent. It's not a nerf. Maybe if she was only allowed to revive four costs Yeah, for sure. I agree. I don't disagree with him. He seems very upset though. Now you successfully evaporated the little faith that I had You know that's so, what a fucking self-righteous prick All right, here we go so yeah, where to begin with this? Frontier Bradley, nerf again? One of the very few ways to beat sit behind tank spammed range, which is now buffed thanks to Mystic Bradley. Um, I mean, there's plenty of cards that can reach back behind people. Inkin, Bradley, or not Inkin, uh, Inkin, Fireball, Som, Outlaw Tweet. <laughs> a flying Tally for the same cost as a normal Tally, but harder to kill. How is, she, how is he harder to kill? So cheers for- How is he harder to kill? He's got 300 fucking health! That's it! That's two hits from a Medusa! I mean, Mintberry- or Mainberry Pig and Coon will just make a slowing wall, which preserves these cards, those extra few seconds, that the one cost Dar- cost on Dar is nullified. That- I mean, that's fair. But, like, that's still seven costs to get them both out there. If you insist on nerfing things, do it properly. Buffing something and increasing its cost isn't a nerf. I mean, it sort of is. It sort of is. It's hard enough killing Dar and Medusa right now. I mean, now they can't do it with seven energy. Isn't that great? And let's talk about speed change effects. Now, if you Dar, like, if you deal with something, you Dar, you could remove that guy and you're, in, you're actually in good shape. You only lose one there, technically. Now we have to deal with a stronger Dar card that has reset the Medusa back to full. It's more about the ninja, honestly. And let's talk about speed change effects because it seems the dev are not getting the message. They are glitchy. Stop adding more of them into the game. Uh, slow seems pretty good. I think the speed boost every once in a while just looks glitchy, but I think it's always working right. I think sometimes it just looks wrong. So if you're a big fat sack of shit dummy like this guy is, you're not going to understand what's happening. Like if you see my, if, if my hanky speed boosted and I see him hit once, but the, the bar actually goes down twice, I have the conceptual ability to understand that, oh, hanky actually hit twice there. Not, oh, they're fucking bugged on the fucking thing. No, it just didn't. He didn't fucking flop his head quick enough. Like, it's fucking, it makes sense. Like, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. Happy New Year, Toller. Kind of fixed the losses both on Chaos, kindly fixed the losses on Chaos Mode and War due to Bone and his band. And I agree, that's bullshit. Kindly fixed taking a loss when your opponent breaks an extra phone seconds after defeating them. Yeah, that's like weird lag. I don't like that. I haven't seen that in a long time, though. I think they did put a fix in for that, so it happens less often. Um, kindly fix not getting rewards after watching certain ads. Hoping to see Space Pilot B 
Bradley amongst the nerfs. Please review that card. Should have a limited aura for the speed up effect. I don't think it should have a limited aura. I think it should have a limited time frame. I think for like 30 seconds after you put him, you should get it. Or for 20 seconds. Or if if Swashbuckler doesn't taunt until she's fucking dead, then these Space Pilot cards, or these Bradley cards that cost fucking less than her, and to a certain extent have better stats, should not be three cost and should not last forever. Anyway, kindly consider removing some useless epic cards such as Classy from the rarity pool. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's overwhelming the number of cards in this rarity and you keep constantly having That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Uh, kindly fix Medusa's snakes. They glitch often either by freezing or not appearing at all. That's true. Thanks and let's have another great year. Yay. At least that guy's not a prick about it. Give us money, sincerely, Red Links. Okay, what? Because you think Bradley's gonna be so good? He's gonna be rich. So I've been playing this game since release, and wow, do you devs actually play the game? Do you devs actually playing the game? The Dark Angel nerf is definitely not a nerf. Def definitely, 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 definitely. God damn it. It's a freaking buff. Can't you listen? It's not a buff. It definitely is a nerf. I think I think people I, people don't understand that you just you don't get more energy. It doesn't matter if you get more stats per energy. The same fucking cards deal with that card. I I still can ink in the dar and the dar fucking dies. So whether or not it's three cost or four cost, whether or not it's a hundred damage or four hundred health or five hundred health, the motherfucker still dies to the same shit. So it's she still dies to fireball. She still dies to probably three or four hits of the same. The only thing that matters is getting some extra attack. And and, and at the end of the day, that's not gonna fucking matter. Cause at the end of the day, the reason she gets her ass, she kicks ass is cause she's got an extra 125 attack. So an extra 30 from her a bit from her natural stats isn't what's gonna break the bank. It's her ability to be played out so quickly at four at three cost. Now you make that four cost, it's gonna make it a little bit harder, and you're gonna see people who are just gonna not play her as much because they they think, oh man, I can't get the same value out of this card because I suck. The only reason I was good at it was because it was so good. Sincerely. All you do is releasing new cards just to earn money from a dying game. It's not a dying game. Anybody who says that is just wrong. This is one of the most populated mobile games I play, and I play a lot. Nerfing rewards, like from a, in a, a PVP tower rush, the only thing that probably has more people playing it is Clash Royale, like absolutely without a doubt. Clash Royale is the only one that has more people playing it. Nerfing rewards extremely from week to week. No locker legendary since five months. That's just luck. Like you can't like that's not them. I, sw I promise you they didn't change that. I know for a fact they made it more likely to get lockers over the like at some point in the past. No free pack legendary since six months. It's a free pack legendary. It's probably 0.001% you fucking fat idiot. God damn it. You think that oh my god what a dummy. Please let me know what you think of all- I did, Like, in the last six months, have you also gotten your free pack every four hours like you used to? Probably not. You think the game's dying. Why would you do that? And if you think the game's dying and you still come back every four hours and get your free pack, you're a fucking loser. Please let me know what you think of all the new changes and additions. We can't wait to hear from you. You can't wait to hear from us. You mean you can't wait to hear the positive comments. What are you talking about? She, she's- People wade through this shit every week. Namely me. Might be the only motherfucker that reads your fluff. That's what this is what you wanted to start an account for your first post January 2021. You're gonna start it off with a bang. You're fucking dumb. Dark Angel Red now only revives one of them. Then why doesn't she revive one visitor, one of the swarm these days? I they it's cause it's a change to Terrence and Philip, not to Dark Angel Red. Kindly make my phone work properly so I can watch the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you've made Dara even better than she's now. I don't think that's true. And Frontier's nerf is definitely not a nerf. What the fuck are you talking about? Frontier's nerf is definitely not a nerf. You took one stat and you fucking decreased it. How can you not say that that's a fucking nerf? What fucking world? Oh, it's not a nerf because it's not exactly what I think you should do. No, it's still a fucking nerf. 
You can't say it's not a nerf. You can say, oh, it's not a good enough nerf, maybe. But to say it's not a nerf, you just sound like a fucking idiot. The right way is strongly decrease that circle range or change it for a sector. What? What do you mean strongly decrease the circle range? Isn't that what they did? Just like man bear pig or super zoo. So instead of like saying like a cone instead? What are you talking about? Dar's ability cost should be increased from five to four. What? Oh, I think she means, he means you can't summon a five. I don't disagree with that. There's no reason for increasing her stats. Will you increase her cost? She's just stronger. Other balances are good, but this is but not that's people are just overestimating the, the stats versus the cost. They really are. You're still gonna get fucking inkin, and when I clear you with inkin, it's actually gonna give me value instead of just like, oh whoa, it's three energy I didn't really fucking need. I can only say that I'm disappointed with what you're doing to this game. Whoa, this guy must play Frontier Bradley. <laughs> Frontier Bradley, the range of his AoE has been reduced. This isn't a nerf, she's an epic with legendary power. She can give a second air to almost all the good cards. That Bradley will assure Man Bear Pig and Pope combo even more. No, cause like when you Pope Man Bear Pig, Bradley's gonna be fucking dead. Is Mystic Bradley going to affect the Roomba? I don't think so. What the hell is wrong with you? Those dart changes are a buff, not a nerf. No, they're not. I thought that good nerf would come, blah, blah, blah. People are dumb. It's not about buffing or debuffing stats. It's about making her to where she can't continually use Ink and Craig over and over. You guys don't understand that probably never will. I think he's on, I think that guy's on my side. <laughs> hey, Toller, could you at least fake interest in the concerns of your community by writing something like, oh yeah, I will talk with the devs about this. Why the fuck? Oh, does that does that make you feel better when she fucking lies to you, you fucking baby ass pussy bitch? God damn it! What a fucking loser! These fucking <laughs> participation trophy generation pussies. No, we just have her resetting ninja, so we got to face two Medusas. <laughs> also, going to add that the Dard nerf is embarrassing. It's closer to a buff. The stats did not need changing. The attack alone for three cost was OP when compared to other three cost epics. I mean, that's not really true. Increasing, decreasing energy cost is indeed a way to change the usage of a card. Increased energy means that Dark Angel won't come back that fast in your hand. She won't get played in a match that often anymore. Robin Tweak may not be strong anymore when using, but he may now be used more often and therefore his work hard. To an extent, him dying sooner gets him back in the cycle, so he might want to be dead sooner. Same for Dark Angel. Higher energy, less cycling in deck, less usage of Warcry in one match. Huh. Exactly, bro! This guy's, this guy's money. This guy knows what he's talking about. Valkyrie, what's up? Resmaster, welcome back. Jam and T, welcome in. You guys are just in time. <clears throat> yes, an increase of one slows down her cycling, but not much. I mean, yes, it does. She can typically be played three times in a minimum, even at four cost. Plus, I don't think you can play her. I don't think you can do that, honestly. I think you'd be surprised. Plus, even with the buff, she still generates up to three net energy each summon. So that's still plus nine energy in an average match. Nine energy, three energy each summon. I mean, wouldn't it be five energy each summon? What are you talking about? Plus three net energy each summon. If you bring Inkin back, I'm getting five energy. What are you talking about? This new Bradley seemed promising at first, but after reading through the thread, I just realized Mint Bear Pig is out there. Really glad Dar's cost was nerfed, but her stat increase is really unnecessary. Basically, compare her to adult range unit stats. Would have made sense if she was a legendary. Also, why is Robert Tweak's stats weaker? I mean, people complain that, people both simultaneously complain about the game being pay to win, meaning, and pay to win games typically mean that legendary cards, epic cards, the cards that you have to buy are better than the other cards. And yet they, so they simultaneously complain that it's pay to win, but also complain that an epic card is too strong. It should be legendary or something like that. Like, are you fucking retarded? What are you talking about? You're saying basically that you want the game to be more pay to win to make sure that the only cards with good stats are the legendary cards? That's what you're saying? And you're also admitting that you think that epic and legendary cards should have better stats than common and rare cards, which to an extent shouldn't be true. It should be about the levels. Like in other games, in World War Doe, if I have a level 
13 common, it's the same as the max level legend. Or in heroic, it's like literally just level 13 versus level 13. It's like the same stat ratio kind of thing, the same DPS kind of thing. Member pig four with the new Bradley at level five will have four four oh three HP even if you use DSR on it. It's still got the health of a level five epic cartman. And if you Bradley just one unit, like like how often does a man bear pig just barely beat you? He's got 500 health left and he beats you. It's pretty fucking rare. When you lose to a man bear pig, he's still got fucking half health most of the time. So these people who think 500 extra attack or health on these units is gonna be so impactful, just don't. They don't think they don't think about every match they've played for the past three years. How often has 500 health on a man bear pig fucking mattered? It's all about getting the Pope on the man bear pig so that the whole amount of it matters, basically. Ugh. I see the end state coming. No more dollars until they fix the mess that they've made. Well, just because you aren't spending money doesn't mean... Like, if you see the amount of level 4 Mary Jane Randys running around or level 6 fucking man bear crunches and you think that the game's dying and they're not still making money, you're fucking dumb. Why don't you or the dev listen to players? <laughs> you? What asshole. Why are you blatantly allowing players who cheat with Ink and Craig, Dark Angel, Red Hacks? What? What do you mean, hack? Okay. S by saying that Ink and Craig, Dark Angel, Red Hacks is like cheating when it's just how the game works, you 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 lose the ability for anyone to care about what you say after that because you just sound like a big fucking colossal dipshit another op card for mystic and dar is barely even nerfed what are you guys thinking no everyone does not have to play mystic now just balance mystic as a whole the frontier bradley nerf once again is a stealth buff to those one dimensional sit button i fucking hate this guy the dark angel got a nerf but it also increased his stats what about robin tweak with him his nerf is horrible and super unnecessary because this card is already dead in this game and they decrease those stats just to sound correct with the one cost yeah i mean maybe they found in their testing that when he he was good value and three cost and did that damn good amount of health maybe it's too good maybe he's too good bad devs are bad here are L. What I want for Christmas a couple weeks ago is less bad decisions. I love playing this game and believe the decisions are being made are driving OG players away. I'm not an OG player, but know a few. I just want to say that most of the time these OG players are just looking for a way out and they'll just they'll just pick whatever random fucking thing is there. Oh, this is the last straw. Like, oh, I'm I oh, they nerfed this card. I'm leaving now or whatever. Like Oh, they didn't change it. They didn't make a change by this date. Oh, I'm leaving. Whatever it is. They just, they're, they're on their way out anyway. I'm on a ranked team and spend way too much money on this game. I hit 9125 ELO and I don't even want to play anymore. I'm sick of seeing the same deck being piloted by players that didn't take the time to learn strategy, but play OP cards and win just for that reason. I'm sure they're playing some sort of strategy to be at the top. There are also people that play those same decks that can't get out of 6,000 because they literally suck. This game could be fun again, but not the way you are handling every single reset. Listen to the players. I think the I think the cock magic change might 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 make the the Pope call girl shenanigans a little bit less impactful. <laughs> I just want to add frontier nerf. This is what should have been in the first place. Now you might even give him back full damage in AOE. No, <laughs> as the lame component is finally reduced. Now adventurers will need to actually earn a bar by reaching closer to new kid. Oh, by point one? These fucking people are ridiculous. This guy's talking big shit like, oh, Frontier Bradley's never gonna hit me ever again. It's point one difference in the range. Point one in the radius. That's it. <laughs> with Frontier and SPB reduced in power, now that only way to deal with it. How is Space Pilot reduced? The only way to deal with him is straight removal. Yeah, what's wrong with that? That's what's wrong with that. The only way to deal with a man bear pig is removal spells. I mean, yeah, he's a seven cost card. That should be kind of the idea. <laughs> but next week, exactly crazy. All right, we can see Mystic Fantasy at the Horizon, man bear pig, Pope, Dar Heels, Bradley, you see on one side, Slave Leanne, Cock Magic on the other side. I don't like it. That's dumb. Why would you run? You don't run Leanne and Man Bear Pig. You're basically just pigeonholing yourself into not being able to play Man Bear Pig while your Leanne's out. Huge changes. I was waiting for Mystic Bradley so long. Maybe Poseidon Stan will be playable. 
<laughs> also, the cock magic change was important because the ner last nerf was too strong. Don't know about fantasy tweak. I will admit, I do not see cock magic anymore. So seeing it a little bit more will be interesting. SH Bradley is mint berry crunch, basically, but just like everywhere. And without that sick fucking ability. <laughs> Yeah, Hyperdrive, I agree. Adventure Bebe, they did kind of just touch her. She's she's fairly good now. She just doesn't really... There's not really the type of swarm cards that she can really benefit from anymore. Fantasy Craig, I'd love to see him change. Alien Craig, I'd love to see it be like a death sentence poison. Like, if it hits you, it kills you. Kind of like... I think all poison should be like that. Uh, except for like the spell poison. Obviously, that would be pretty strong. Unless you want to make it like six cost. And then anything, everything it hits dies. <laughs> that would actually be pretty crazy. Can't wait to read your comments with these release superhero Bebe. Yeah, what's superhero Bebe gonna be? Superhero Bradley is mint berry crunch. Like superhero Bradley is mint berry crunch. Just what the hell is an angry cock? What? I mean they'll be angry cocks. You serious? You decided to buff one of the most OP cards in the game and then add in a mystical theme Bradley? I mean, of course they're gonna add Bradley. What the fuck? Not only will Myst the mystical become dominant, I mean... <sighs> I just, like, people are so... People overreact, man. Like, it's not like people can just switch to Mystic and have all of those cards leveled. Like, what the fuck? What's up, Shazam? Welcome. You decide to buff one of the most OP cards, blah, blah, what the fuck? Not only blah, 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 blah. Games to play that are more fun. I have better games to play that are more fun and have less bugs or glitches and actually work on finding their matchmaking. Your work on this game is piss poor. I mean, what games are you playing, bro? Cause I play literally every other Tower Rush game in existence. What are you talking about? Fucking AFK arena where the, the gameplay is just hitting the fucking, hitting the abilities at the right time. Where you're just playing these fucking AFK useless mindless games that don't have any fucking real gameplay. Oh, but at least those devs are making the matchmaking better so that the fucking idiots who bought more fucking stupid worthless copies of these cards that I need 30,000 copies to kill into one and bring into another just to get two extra percentage on a fucking ability that I can't even control and it's just about which fucking order I put them in that five it's just those like fucking no no other game does better than this fucking game at some of this stuff I'm sorry I play all of them World War Doe, Champion Strike, Souls of Eden fucking heroic magic duel all of them, Cast Castles and Crashers I didn't play that one much but that one really sucks. That one really sucks. Play them all except for Clash Royale because I don't like those guys. The uh, Tencent or what is it? Tencent? I don't know. Can't remember the name. DM Cox are angry Cox. Yeah, they'll be boosted. Uh, sorry for that. It's two o'clock in the morning and I should essay and I should sleep already. Also noticed that I had written Fantasy Bradley instead of Fantasy Craig. Oh, I get, I get what you're saying. Fantasy Craig, I like it. That it. I'm nerfing Frontier next week. Yeah, I just think, pe I think people really overestimate things. Like, just think about, think about all the changes that have come through and how, like, on the forums and stuff, people are just like, oh my god, it's the end of the world. And then, like, nothing really changes. Like, they think these cards are going to get played all the time but like the meta doesn't really change because the meta is is the meta is good for a reason and one card isn't going to change that like the current meta isn't going to really change just because dar got a little more expensive or bradley becomes a card one because it takes months and months and months and months for the majority of people to even have anything close to a competitive uh, game uh, like level for that and even if you buy it typically you can't even get it to like like if it's a if it's a rare you can get it to level five but you can't get it to six until the next round of stuff and if it's a legend you can get it to level three but you can't get it to level four or five until the next round or the next round like there's a lot of stuff you don't even have a chance you don't even see frontier that much exactly i don't i don't even I, like where i am i don't see frontier hardly at all 
on any of my accounts, including Moody, who's down at about 7,000. Now, I don't have any super newbie accounts because even if I started a new account, like how quickly would we be able to get it up to, to legend, you know, just because we're such better players than, I mean, that's probably true for a lot of people in this chat. But yeah, exactly, Casey. Like we don't know what these cards are like like way low 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 like everybody commenting on these forums he's probably at least a silver player or something like that there might be the the off chance that there's a there's like a bronze player checking out the forums or something like that but for the most part if you're checking out the updates and you're you know you know you're putting your fucking you're putting a forum post you care about the game enough to probably at this point be legend player um and probably a higher in the legend bracket right probably like seven to eight k player I mean that I, I'm willing to bet that that's the majority of people right now watching our legend players with some silver players smattered in. If we had a bronze player in chat or a wood player in chat, shout out, say what's up. I'll give you some buckets because it's it's if you're if you're a bronze player and you're like that new to the game and you're already on streams watching Twitch and stuff like that, like you're gonna get better way faster than anything else. But I just people people don't people put too much stock into the stuff on paper and they don't really think about the effects i mean people still hate me to this day because i understood that the epic and legend buff had to happen because in these other games that i play you have level f you have the the best players in the game even though they have max level common or max level legendaries they play a deck full of max level commons and rares because those cards are just better and you don't have to pay money to get them you just have to play the game request and just get all the rewards because they're going to be common cards and stuff right there's not a whole lot of cards in that game so eventually you're going to get a max deck and there's no incentive to buy them you know I picked up the game last May, hit Legend in August by picking up tips and shit from exactly Thagrius. And I, I like, and just because I play this game and I'm just, I'm just good at games like this now, I got to the legendary rank in Champion Strike in two weeks. That's it, thirty dollars in two weeks. I'm not exaggerating. That's all it took. I did not lose a game, all the way to the Master Class Arena, all the way to the Master Arena. Unless I wasn't paying attention. Any game I was paying attention, I did not lose a game. And that is just like impossible in South Park. But it's all about just time in those games. Like you get the times, you get the decks, and then you have these decks. It's like, I can't stand up against these decks because they just have these, they have uh, this plethora of these two cost max level common cards. And even if I had level, you know, max level legends, they get stomped on because the, the way the leveling works. So people don't really understand that like in other games is not any better. Exactly. Stan the Great used to be Stan the Great. Yeah, Stan the Great used to be one of the best cards in the game for sure. I just got him to level seven, so I'm definitely gonna throw him in and see what he's like. Um, but yeah, like the people that are commenting on this stuff, they don't think about what it's like for a player at like rank 200 or something like that. Like think about Mosquito. Mosquito was a pretty tough card when he came out, but he wasn't like super strong because like Inkin still kind of wiped him out, shit like that. But um, like he was murder in the lower ranks. Like you played Mosquito and he just beat you. Like you couldn't fucking beat him. And you know, they nerfed him and he's definitely more, he's definitely better now, almost unplayable now to an extent. Like I had him in the deck level seven with Mintberry Crunch and I took him out cause he just wasn't worth it. It was better to have another stun for this base pilot. They didn't need to kill the commons. No, I agree. I agree there. It didn't, it, I don't understand why they debuffed them. They could have just buffed the legends and epics to be better than them, but they really, I mean, they've made a lot of mistakes, but they had to do that. They had to do that or else the game would not still be here, honestly. Like the game would not be here in the same way. It wouldn't still be getting updated and shit like this quite the same. Like like that Futurama game that I play finally wised up and started repeating missions and started repeating events. So I'm going to start jumping into that a little bit more often. Probably not on stream, but just like while I'm taking a shit or something. Uh, <laughs> 
just because it's a real mindless city building kind of RPG sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I agree. Like with commons, this is what I would do with commons. With commons, I would have all commons would have an ability, and that ability at level seven would get boosted like to a pretty damn competitive level. Where at level six, the 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 common is like where it is now, like it's it can't really stand up against the level five uh the, the the legends and the epics as they get past level five, right? They just can't quite stand up. But you give them an ability a b ability boost at level seven and it makes them playable. Like imagine Ike gets a boost at level seven and instead of being 50 it's 100 or something like whatever you know some big increase or something like robin tweak would get a bit like a, a 200 increase on his ability or something like that like something big to make that last level seven jump like more impactful for those commons so that kind of makes up for the fact that their stats kind of suck um like reset new pve content yeah that's another thing that that they could do like uh, that's something that i've talked about before a really good idea would be um something that they could do would be every day or maybe every week um every week might be better every week they take one pve mission and they remaster it um or maybe every month they could do every season they could do a different set of like five or whatever is a different screen right and on each one of those screens you can spend uh you can spend 50 cash or whatever the cash 100 cash whatever it is and when you do that you reset all of those or you just enter a, an event whatever it is or maybe it's for free whatever it might be you you enter this mission mode and then it resets them and they remaster them slightly so like there can be new cards out there um because a lot of the new cards aren't out there so maybe you throw some superhero cards out there throw some new cards maybe throw some new weirdness in there like maybe there's another spell that they could use like maybe there's some extra stuff that they could add that makes it more difficult and you could replay it and play it through and maybe every day you can play another mission and get a little reward or something like that a couple more days now i have my own level six mosquito nice Yeah, Skeeter, Ske see, even when I had Skeeter at seven with Mipperry Crunch, though, it just, he didn't seem quite as good. You get him with Ninju, though, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely not the worst card anymore, but like up at my level, you just don't see him played anymore. When people are playing superheroes, they just don't play those cards. They play Mipperry Crunch, they play Mysterion, they play Call Girl, they play Mary Jane Randy, maybe they play Coon, Hamsters, Timmy. Maybe Super Craig, maybe Captain Diabetes, but otherwise it's other stuff filling in after that point. On a picture, I got like 50 levels left though. Good buff for the Coon too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. I'm not saying you guys are fucking dumb. I'm not saying it's not fucking possible, but I'm saying it's not the best deck. It's not the best deck to have Mosquito in there. There's just there's better options. And you play him, sure, but you could put fucking Rogue Token in that slot and be just fine. You could put any fucking level one card in there and not play him and be fine. Probably <laughs> doesn't mean it's the best deck. I don't. I don't think Mosquito is the best deck unless you're unless you're running like the Coon heavy. Unless you're like running some focused on the Coon, sure, because the extra thing, sure. If you're running a a Ninju or BHK boosting deck, sure, because he they he gets the extra stack. For sure. In certain situations, he might be the best choice. But most of the time, there's going to be a better card. And especially in meta where there's going to be Incans all over the place, Mosquito just gets murdered by the Incan. So he, he's definitely less useful in this current meta than than every other time. Why are they buffing Dar? I cried for months to nerf her. I mean, it's... It's a, it's a burf. It's a buff nerf. It's enough. It's enough? Is it a burf? It's a buffy nerf. It's a burf nerf. It's a burf nerf. It's like, it's this weird in between because yes, it's impactful because that, like that four energy, it makes it impactful. Like think about cock magic going from five to six cost. It's still like, 
it's still got seven value almost every time you played it but it going up by one cost made it almost unplayable to the point where you never see it anymore even in the world of mary jane randy call girl pope Minberry, man bear pig all that shit even in that world cock magic isn't played and it just went up by one cost so you guys don't think that one cost dar is gonna one cost increase on dar is gonna be more impactful than you think right now i think you i think everybody's underestimating how much that one cost is gonna impact not only that but think about think about the mystic that that you put together and sure maybe it's four cost maybe it's four and a half cost and you're poping and darring some value back but it's still a four value deck and if cock magic is gonna be a thing go ahead pope and pope and dar shit back all you want they're still gonna get cock magic cock magic didn't get a side buff along with it but i mean it's getting buffed now so kind of they just do they just did it later right so imagine just imagine imagine if when they changed cock magic to be six cost they made the same change they made now it's the, there's no difference to that there's no difference to that they just did it at a different time imagine they did the same thing would you be upset about it would you think oh they they they're not nerfing it they're buffing it would you think the same way or do you just feel a certain type of way about dar I agree the stats increase is kind of a lot 30 percent a lot i agree I don't, I, I don't disagree with that it should have been like 15 or 10 or something like that because i like increasing the stats when you increase the cost does make sense if you don't think that mac that makes sense on a fundamental level you just you're 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 mistaken that it makes sense but 30 percent to act to like because the idea is that the reason you increase it is because the value you can get from her war cry. If you don't change the war cry at all and you increase her stats by 30%, you don't or increase her cost by 30%, you don't also increase her stats by 30% because then it makes the war cry kind of kind of sort of the same. So yeah, I agree. It, it wasn't it wasn't the greatest idea, but I think people are really underestimating how much that one cost will make her less playable in the decks just as a whole and her extra stats won't matter as much because we just won't see her as often we won't see her as often bet there are a few players around 9k that play yeah i think i've i think in my last 10 hour stream i saw cock magic once and it was some douchebag illuminati who's been playing cock magic since day one exactly yeah cock magic that's why that's why in a competitive setting like cock magic, like team wars is as competitive as we can get right now or tournaments. But if you know cock magic is coming, cock magic is worthless. That's why in team wars, cock magic is typically not the right choice because if I know cock magic is a choice, I'm not going to play in a way where you're going to get cock magic value, right? Same with, I don't know, something like man bear pig or Pope or something like that. Pope gets the value sometimes because you don't know it's coming. If you try to Pope a Mintberry Crunch or a Man Bear Pig or a, a Grand Wizard Cartman or something like that, pretty easy to know the Pope's coming. But if you Pope back a Six Element Randy or you Pope back a, a Ninju or something like that, a little bit harder to predict. Like, you know, you don't really expect that every time. But if it's a Man Bear Pig, like, you expect to see the Pope every time, right? Effectively because you forget about it being an option. Yeah. I think so many people have been asking for a Dar nerf for a long time, and that's why seeing a buff is hard to handle. Yeah. I mean, it is a nerf. Like, it is for sure a nerf, because her ability damage and shit is, is really not going to affect the outcome of the battles that she's a part of. It's going to be her, her double ninju boost that does that. It's going to be the the Medusa that she that she brings from half court back to back to safe like that's the type of stuff that wins you battles it's not dar's attack that wins you battles now every once in a while will dar clutch a win because she's hitting new kid she doesn't get hit and she's got enough damage to do it sure but she could have done that anyway she could have done that anyway but yeah i agree the, the uh, they they always do stuff too much like when they increased what did they in what what was that recent increase and i was like oh fuck they like seriously they did that god what was it it was a card i used 
And they're like, they did what? Oh, it was Call Girl. It was Call Girl. When they made Call Girl, um, when they made her cheaper and they made her only get more expensive cards, and then they made her stats fucking incredible and and a and a range that makes her out of new kid range. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, I would like I would have just given her. I would have just fucking do done one of those things. And then, or it was Captain Wendy too. Captain Wendy, they're like, oh yeah, we'll give her extra attack and extra health and extra attack. And I was just like, D I would have just given her some extra attack, a little bit extra health. You didn't need to also boost the ability, which was also was already pretty fucking awesome. I mean, I'm okay with that, but it's like that that was a mistake. Like, eventually they might have to pare down her ability damage now. <laughs> but yeah, Call Girl is so good now man like just as a unit she can get hit she can get hits on new kid and just fuck shit up and if she's got a ninja boost on her which is typical because the call girl into ninja is just so fucking powerful that ninja boost her the the amount of value she gets because she just attacks so quick you can't have a card that attacks that quick that has that range like that's just so broken Dizzles for sure needs a 30% attack yeah he needs to he needs to stun around him completely not in that stupid cone too <laughs> yeah sizzles feels okay but in certain situations like i i feel like he he does attack faster than he's meant to um but yeah i would love to see a one cost card what would be the only i think the only useful one cost card that you could play would be Okay, there's two one cost cards that I think would actually maybe work. And the second one might have to be two costs to be playable. The first one would be just a taunt dummy. Uh, it's one cost. It's a totem. It, you play it out on the field and it takes three hits. Um, whether or not it's, if it's three rats hitting him, it's dead immediately. If it's three Medusas with Ninju, it takes three shots to kill it, right? So, can't stop swarms, but it might slow down some things. One cost for that. And it taunts everybody in the area to attack it, right? Um, one cost card. Adventure, probably. The other one cost card would be sort of like a black hole sort of card, like other games play, where you just... You, you set a tiny little area on the field, and you basically put them into, like, imp tweak zone, where they go gray, and they can't get targeted by anything, for one second literally one second so you could if you play it just right you could stop a fireball damage or you could stop unholy combustion or something like that but you get one second that's it now if you want to give them two seconds maybe it's two cost maybe you get them three seconds for two cost i don't know um one cost is just too powerful regardless of what it is because of cycling yeah i agree i agree there too i think the taunt one the taunt one would have to have a obviously it would have to have a uh, like a timer like it couldn't be out there forever um yeah pb and purify cycling was good times but i think that's a i think that should be a nuance to the game that you should be able to benefit from you know if you get a good cycle you get a good deck together that's cheap cycles to get to your better cards and you beat a heavier deck i don't know if it, that does make just those cheap as fuck decks so strong though so yeah if you have like if you get shield main wendy out multiple times <laughs> But yeah, I agree. It's hard to get a one, even like a two cost card in this game is, is difficult because two cost is so, like it's so easy to get the value back if like if it really does help you, you know, like if the alternative is losing four energy to just throwing away two energy, like obviously it's a better play in that sense, but we'll see. It'll be interesting kind of how things play out with the new cards. I don't think, I think honestly Bradley isn't going to be as impactful. I don't think an extra 500 or 1000 health because you're never going to get it on two people. Most likely you're going to have two tanks in your deck. Most likely one of those tanks is going to get removed. So I I, I don't know. You're going to maybe at most get the boost. Maybe at most get the, the freeze or get the slow for a little bit. Um...
I just, but what's gonna happen is Bradley is gonna fly past the people, or he's gonna start getting hit by a range card that they put out. Whatever one's gonna happen, Bradley's gonna die. The slow's not gonna be very impactful. The only way it's gonna be useful is on a counter push, and Mystic already excels at that anyway, so it's not like it's gonna be a better slot. Like I still think, like what what slot does that take? Like if you're in a if you're in a Mystic Sci-Fi deck, you don't put him in instead of Visitors. You don't put him in instead of. Do you put him in instead of Enforcer or Space Warrior? I mean, who do you put him in for? You don't put him in for Space Pilot. If you run Space Pilot, you're just running that deck. You're not running the other deck. And even if you're running Mystic, what your other option is Osimo for a tank, Osimo and Zen. Your only other tank like that. There is no other tank options in those decks. There is no other, I mean, Maxi, but that's it. So, Craig cover screen flipping the bird. That's that's really funny. Just cover the screen so they can't see what's happening. And then when the screen comes out, you got a hanky at their doorstep. <laughs> if you play a re-removal, not sure what you mean. Like a, like Pope? Wouldn't Pope be re-removal? I think there should be a card in your deck that's like a mimic card that lets you mimic the last spell that you used or the last card that you use so that if somebody if, if somebody leads with Grand Wizard Cartman and I kill their Grand Wizard Cartman and then they lead with and then they play Man Bear Pig and I'm just like well fuck like I don't have any removal I don't have anything in my deck I'm fucked I could just use that mimic card for maybe even for one extra energy so instead of a five cost unholy combustion it's a six cost unholy combustion from the mimic and then maybe the level is of the mimic so like if mimic is an epic card level three and i use mimic on man bear pig i only get it's an eight cost level three man bear pig right um but something like that could be interesting to give you more options for removal because that like the problem is like the more really good high value cards you put in and then you don't you're they're not putting in removal cards i mean there hasn't been a removal card since dsr and leanne and that's been only fantasy. Like we haven't had an extra removal card. I really think that that poison or not poison, a uh, sci-fi should get some sort of like terminal poison or some like disease poison or toxic poison that maybe it's a six cost card, but it hits somebody and it hits them with the poison and the poison kills them really quickly. And then when they die, they explode. And if it hits anybody else, when it explodes, it poisons them too. Maybe not in the same way, but it's like a normal poison to them. So it like makes them a bomb. So you use that on Zen. Eventually Zen dies and poisons everyone around him. Like Sif, so put me on the fucking design team, man. I'm a genius. I thought that up on the top of my head. EKB, but double spells and Warcry ability damage. I don't think, I don't think there should be a card that affects spells because there's just not enough spell options out there. I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, something like maybe spells are less, one less cost. Like imagine you put a card out and while that card's out there, all your spells cost one less. That might be interesting. Um, but as far as like double, like Bradley doubling your heal or something like that, that's stupid. Um, double damage or something from spells that's stupid because there's just not enough spells that like if you put a Bradley if you put a Bradley that makes healing double there's only like seven cards in the fucking game that benefits from that so like that's that's neutering his potential so that's just really dumb and not a good idea you know you can't pair it with fantasy then because fantasy has no heal you know um, that yeah like dire aids exactly something like that uh, but I would love to. I would love to see Casey. I would love to see something that either doubles War Cries or doubles um, doubles Death Wishes. Uh, so what if there's a card that's like maybe it's like three cost spell where you use it and when you use it, it makes a little portal or something like that. And then like the next card that you lay in within 30 seconds or something, there's got to be a timer. Like, but the next card that you play within X amount of time has double War Cry, so you could do double Inkins or something like that. Um, I'd love to see a card that P Kid is hosting. What's up, buddy? Um, I'd love to see a card that um, uh, that doubles death wishes. But the problem I think I have with that is like, so you double the Bar Brady death wish is only the only death wish that that really works for. Like if you double the Incan, you just what kill two people. It doesn't really work. It has to be the person that kills them, right? Doesn't really make sense. Gingivitis, exactly. That could work. Tall drink of gingivitis. 
Um, but I think... Like, Princess Kenny, that doesn't really work because it's only the tar target to kill them. Paladin could give you two shields, but it's the closest unit, so most likely it would shield the same unit. And we all know that shields don't stack. And there's no way that they could code don't shield a shielded unit. Like, there's no way they could do that. <laughs> um, yeah, double penny. Yeah, I mean, you could do the timer. Yeah, I guess that's true. You could double the time. So if it's Kenny, you just have 20 seconds instead of 10 seconds. That could work. You double the shield time. But then you don't double. Like, Inuit wouldn't be affected then. And those are the only I mean, double Astro speed boost. That'd be kind of cool. But then... I still think Barbrady is really your only option. I think Barbrady is still your only option. But yeah, if you had the double Barbrady explosion, that would still be pretty damn good. And imagine like, imagine if you had Dar and then that card out. So you use the card that doubles explo or doubles the explosion. You use Dar on him, he explodes twice, and then he's still alive again. And then he goes and explodes twice on New Kid. So, I mean, it'd be... But do you want to build a card that works for one one unit like i'm just so surprised they don't have more death wish units like they have so many war cry units so many things comes out with the war cry and the only the last death wish was leanne and the last death wish before that was fucking like inuit or cyborg or something i don't know what what was the what was the kenny release i don't know anyway we got to get out of here this is a long this is a long update two hours and 27 minutes Appreciate you guys stopping by if you're checking this out on YouTube make sure you subscribe so you get my latest videos We're still on one video per day um, we'll, We've been doing one video per day for 40 days now, so pretty awesome Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube if you need a link every Every subscription past 500 we're doing another video for the video per day and I have 540 no 500 and I don't remember 46 56 I can't remember 45 anyway we only have a few days left so you gotta you gotta subscribe so that that gets extended um need some moo moos um I love you too Casey <laughs> we'll see you guys later uh we will be streaming tomorrow for some um some South Park phone destroyer and then probably fall guys we haven't been playing fall guys too much this season <laughs>